Quality education is a cornerstone of a thriving, prosperous society. However, the South African education system is under strain, necessitating the work of the Aukaf South Africa Education Wakaf to help ease the pressure. Our metric mathematics upgrade project alone has already impacted the lives of over 6,000 matriculants. At the Darul Arqam High School in Mitchell's Plain, the pass rate increased from 70% to a remarkable 100%. For one student in particular, it was a life-changing experience. With the very first word of the Holy Quran being revealed as Iqra, read, educating our community is an act of faith. With your help, we can transform many more lives. Awqaf South Africa, share the care. We begin in the name of God, we glorify and we praise Him. May we have a program that is enriching and benef uh, beneficial. We really hope that God graces us today. So if we are experiencing any technical challenges that can be put out of the way, and may this program benefit one and all across South Africa. Let me greet all of you in some of the official languages, Sunny Bonana, Molo, Tobela, Dumela, Huyamora, uh, Saubona, Huyamora, Good morning, Namaste, and Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to all learners across South Africa. Uh, it's a, indeed a great uh, pleasure to be hosting you here today. Please uh, use the comment section and let us know where you are calling us from. Use the comment section uh, if you are connecting via Facebook and YouTube. And please be advised that this program is hosted on YouTube. So learners, you, if you missed out on anything, that you can, um, um, you can uh, reference this um, uh, video. We will not uh, delete it. It will stay on. So using the same link, you will be able to um, I, um, refer back to that. My name is Hassanin Abdullah, and I'm the project coordinator for OCA of South Africa. So let me share some information about OCA of South Africa. So OCA of South Africa is a community development organization. We help people of South Africa. And, and some of the projects that we have been doing has been uh, very impactful pro um, projects. We have provided water to water stress communities through our ball, uh, project. We have restored um, eyesight to many uh, people through our cataract removal operation. And we bring youth and learners from all walks of South Africa um, through sport, and that is through one of our flagship projects, and that is the very exciting uh, T20 cricket tournament. And this project is something that's very special to us uh, under our banner and our focus area in education. So since 2015, we've been um, <clears throat> hosting these maths upgrade workshops um, at centers across South Africa, Cape Town, Durban, Ladysmith, Soweto. So we've been doing this with our uh, implementing agent, um, Mr. K, uh, Mr. Kota from uh, KWM Maths. And uh, here at OCAF, we have, <clears throat> we have um, observed that um, South Africa ranks amongst the most poorest performing countries in mathematics. And this is why we have um, taken up the challenge and, and embarked on this project to improve the literacy of our grade 12 learners. And, and we believe that, that um, you know, maths and science is the future. And in order for us to produce 
geniuses like Elon Musk that's producing these Tesla cars and Steve Jobs and, and, and some of these great people, um, our grade 12 learners have to perform very well in maths and science. So this is why we have embarked on this, uh, on this program. Last year, we had this maths workshop um, online because of COVID. We had about 2,500 uh, registrations. It was quite exciting. And this year, it's a follow-up to that uh, pilot project that we hosted. And um, my, my, we've had like 10,000 um, registrations. Um, it's been overwhelming. Uh, there's been an overwhelming response. So we thank all uh, educators and learners for um for logging on and uh, registering for this program. A very important note, and I must emphasize, I've been fielding lots of um, queries, that this program is hosted on YouTube. You don't have to request the recording. Using the same link, you can go back to this on, um, on YouTube. So you can just visit um, the OCAF essay website um, <clears throat> to have some more information. If you can't find the YouTube link, so uh, that is something that's that's very important. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Post some of your the photos of your classrooms, and, um, <clears throat> and then so be it. So now I'm going to be calling on uh, OCAF Essays uh, CEO Zainul Abidin Kaji. Right. So we're going to call on Zainul Abidin Kaji on the program, and he's going to be uh, speaking to us. So after this video, we'll have Zainul Abedin Kaji um, from OCAF South Africa on the program. When we take care of each other, wonderful things happen. Children thrive, the elderly rejoice, communities celebrate. OCAF South Africa, a charitable work of receiving organization makes it easy to share the care. All donations are plowed into Sharia compliant investments, while the fruits support a great variety of charitable causes. Visit the Aukaf South Africa website at aukafsa.org.za to discover how your wakaf can bless our community with the legacy of care. Aukaf South Africa, share the care. So we'll be having um, Uncle Zainul Abedin Kaji on his OCAF's, um, OCAF Essays CEO, and he's going to be um, telling us a little bit more in terms of uh, introduction. And also, we've got some exciting news about a prize competition. So let's bring on Uncle Zainul Abedin Kaji and uh, keep those comments uh, coming in. Let us know where you are linking um, uh, from, from which city you are linking on, and we'll flight that on the screen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Uncle Zainu. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, and peace and blessings be to everyone out there, all the listeners, all the viewers, all the students, learners, educators who have really uh, joined us in this very, very exciting uh, project Mathematics for All, Mathematics for the Future, Mathematics for all our young and budding scientists and students. Uh, a very, very warm welcome to all of you. We're very, very excited to have you uh, on this particular program. And we hope that this is going to be one of the most beneficial programs that you've actually ever uh, attended. So welcome to all of you once again. We'd like to, uh, I think Hassanain, uh, our project manager here, has given you a lot of background about uh, OCAF South Africa. So I'm not going to give you further uh, background. but. Uh, just suffice to say that uh, mathematics is really a core subject and really uh, if you don't have mathematics uh, you know there's very limited opportunities that you may have so we're very very uh, committed to uh, promoting mathematics at all levels at all schools and we hope that uh, you know through this initiative you will uh, empower yourself and empower others as well we'd like to uh, uh, thank especially uh, the, 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 the Director General of the Department of Basic Education, uh, Hubert Mueli, uh, who has really been very, very helpful in facilitating uh, all the uh, Gauteng, I mean, the uh, National Department of Education, Basic Education schools to participate in this particular program. Uh, and also, we'd like to thank uh, 
a former Deputy Minister Enver Surti, who has also been very uh, helpful in uh, facilitating this particular project. Uh, we also have uh, the curriculum specialist, mathematics curriculum specialist, whom I will uh, who will be speaking to you in a few minutes, uh, Mr. Leonard Mudau, who will also be uh, talking to you. Uh, and I'm sure that uh, you're not going to be disappointed with this uh, with this maths preparation for today. The good news is that there are going to be some prizes for students that are going to be uh, achieving you know through this particular program and we're hoping that uh, we will we will ask you a, as a as a further uh, intervention we will ask you for your july results or june results and also your final results especially those that have registered for this particular program and once we find uh, your results we will be uh, giving you prizes we will be giving away laptops we will be giving away cash prizes uh, emails will be sent to all of you to inform you what the prizes are uh, so that uh, you can be assured that uh, uh, your your attention and your uh, dedication to this particular mathematics project uh, will will really be of uh, benefit to you uh, we're also going to have a further intervention sometime in october and we'd like you to we'd like to invite you to that program as well and we'll compare the results that we received from your july results october results and then also your final results so all the best guys we really excited to have you and we hope that you you are going to be benefiting immensely from this pro, uh, from this project uh, we're now going to be uh, handing over to mr leonard uh, Mudau, who will be talking to you uh, and giving you a message from the Department of Basic Education. Do you have it, uh, Uncle Zainu Abed in Kaji? So just after this video, we'll have Mr. Leonard on. When we take care of each other, wonderful things happen. Children thrive, the elderly rejoice, communities celebrate. Awqaf South Africa, a charitable wakaf receiving organization, makes it easy to share the care. All donations are ploughed into Sharia compliant investments, while the fruits support a great variety of charitable causes. Visit the Aukaf South Africa website at aukafsa.org.za to discover how your wakaf can bless our community with the legacy of care. Aukaf South Africa, share the care. Oh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Leonard Kumani Mdau. I'm Chief Education Specialist at the Department of Basic Education. The reason why I'm here uh, is to motivate all learners and uh, guaranteeing them that uh, as the Department of Basic Education, we really support this program has been assisting our learners for the past many years and it was very helpful and we requested the ceo of the company to expand uh, so that even other learners could also benefit from it uh, our learners are about to write their preparatory examinations and is very useful and important uh, that they should get a, a taste from other people besides their teachers who have been with them throughout the whole year to see how they can answer uh, similar questions but in a different way what i can assure you is that we have sealed our final um, examinations papers they are only waiting for you. What I can also assure you is that the structure of the examination is similar to the one which the cohort of 2021 wrote. You remember that previously we were used to have a trigonometry weighing, uh, weighing 40 marks and inclusion geometry 50 marks. So as from last year onwards, geometry 
uh, is carrying 40 marks and the trigonometry 50 marks. Uh, we really wish you well and hope that you will benefit and also recruit other learners who are not part of this program today to join so that they can benefit more. We really wish you well and hoping that uh, you will make it at the end of the year. Thank you. So there you have it, learners. We had to give you and uh, some uh, some background information. We had to have Uncle Zainul on for the program. He's been very instrumental in this program. The Department of Education has been very instrumental. So you see what we have here over here that we're all working together. The Department of Education, our organisation, and we're working. We'll be working with Mr. Kota uh, like we've done in, in the past. So let's get down to business, um, uh, learners. Let's not waste any more time. I'm going to introduce you to Mr. Uh, Mr. Kota. Uh, Mr. Kota has got his education from the University of Johannesburg, and he's got a passion for education, and he's been doing a maths tuition and these upgrade interventions for OCA for many years now. So he's definitely got a very cool way of, of, of getting maths and the lesson across to you. So if maths is not really your, your favorite subject, or if it is your favorite subject, then you're going to enjoy it. If you did not enjoy it before, after the session, before you leave, you would have had um, a better understanding or a liking to that. So let's bring Mr. Kota on, and he's gonna, uh, we're going to go through what's expected for the program for today. Good morning and assalamu alaikum, Mr. Kota. Let's get let's get down to business and let's get the show on the road. So welcome, Ahoy, on. Captain. Salamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Episode two reloaded. Twenty twenty two. Reload. In the house. G four ten G. It's ready for lit. orbit. <laughs> we it's all lit. So we are ready, Mr. Kota. We're gonna have a PG thirteen show today. I'm going to be the host for today, and Mr. Kota is going to be teaching you today, but I will be popping in during the course of the program. Mr. Kota, what can we expect for today? I'm too excited. I don't know if you guys can feel it there in Cape Town, but here in Johannesburg, the, the feeling here in, our, in, in, the, in the office here is euphoric. Let, let me just put you in the control room, in the launch room. Right. I mean, I just want to say Jazakallah to everybody here. We expecting a bumper show today. We're finishing. We're doing paper one. We're starting off with inequality, some algebra just to get the engines warm. And then we tackle the calculus, the higher order questions. We, I've got some grade 11 learners in here that I need to teach calculus too. So this is going to be an amazing, amazing, amazing program. And I saw all, I just want to say Can we get your to learners to wave at us? Wave at the wave camera so we know that you are live. Blow a kiss to Assalamu everybody there. 10,000 learners. Welcome. Say hello, hello, hello. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Tell me, Mr. Kota, what is it required for the session today? Required, yeah, obviously, FX991ES or ES plus scientific calculator, even if it's the one that uh, finds that, that does the factorization, the silver one, we can legally cheat. And then your writing pad, of course, your pen, pencil, ruler, and obviously your shots of coffee or uh, yeah, I, I, I can't. I, I guess I'm not allowed to mention product names, right? But that energy drink, I'll just say the opposite of it, uh, Blue Cow. No, Mr. Kota, I told you, <laughs> we're not going to be promoting caffeine drinks over there. But All if, right, if we're not promoting. Mm. PG-13, mm. I told PG you. PG-13, as our last time, I got knocked on my knuckles hard the last time mm. for language. Mm. Okay, okay, we'll try. I'll try my best. Tell me. 
What are we cooking today for Matt's Paper 1? What's on the program Ooh, today? What's in the pot, my friend? My friend, I order uh, some algebra questions um, just so that we know our first 20 marks of the paper is secure. Then our next 40 to 45 marks is calculus. Then we'll uh, calculus. We'll then take a break from 10.30 to 11 o'clock. So those schools that are beaming at their schools and they've passed, so the feeding schemes are all on time. We're going to try and keep to time as, as strictly as possible. We're then going to crack functions. And if I finish functions a little bit earlier, we'll even throw in some sequences and series in there. Then 12.45 to quarter past one, we take a lunch break. Uh, in fact, it's 11 to 12.30 and then 12.30 to 1.15. I said, I think it's not 12.45 to 1.15, it's 12.30. But it's fine. It's fine. We'll go along as we will uh, adjust as we go along. And then obviously we will end up with our probability, fundamental counting principles and factorials, the one that is giving many of you nightmares in all your schools. The aim of today and tomorrow is to ensure whether your teachers have done it in school or they haven't done it. Whether they're going to leave certain topics for end of the year or not, it's immaterial. We make sure we dala, my bro, we dala. Okay, Mr. Kota, the floor is yours. Take the show away. Yes, there we go. All right, there we go. As long as I know I got here, my control room, I'm in orbit at the moment, right? So as long as I know you're on Earth and you can keep me grounded, right? Bismillah, right? I just want to say welcome to everybody. Can you see the whiteboard is all there? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the K, uh, grade 12s, to the prelim prep 2022. Just to tell you, we are not breaking a record, you guys. We are setting a record. We are setting a record. We're setting the bar super high. 10,600 registrate 950 10,950 and i'm hoping that by tomorrow guys go and tell all your friends i'm hoping that by tomorrow we should double it so if we do our our, our proportionality and we do our ratios if every one of you go and tell one of your friends to register we should hit 20,000 tomorrow and maybe next year we do all 228,000 one teacher 228,000 first in the world only year with okaf sa and k -way. So I'm Mr. K, guys. We're going to have lots of fun. I'm not a teacher. I'm your bra. I'm just here to make sure that you dollar mats properly. Right. So I just want to also say welcome. I saw all the all the messages coming in and from saying hola in the house. So we got my hometown, my hometown, Roshni. I saw the Roshni in the house. And I mean, I can't mention everybody. So I just want to welcome all provinces. How thank KwaZulu Natal, Northwest, Limpopo, Polokwane is in the house, I know. We got Mpumalanga, and we've got Eastern Cape, Western Cape, and we've got everybody. Uh, away, Owens. <laughs> away. We are now about to crack. Let's get started, guys. I'm starting with the topic. Take out your pens. Take a deep breath. Hoosa. Right. Are you guys ready? Got your books. Can we get started? We're starting now with paper one. Now, just to tell you something, guys, it, it's immaterial whether you know maths or you don't know maths. I don't know at what level you are. So we're going to go from basic to advanced, from basic, intermediate to advanced. Remember something, guys, it's not too late. I always tell everybody before we start, when I was in grade 12, June exam, I failed math. I had below 20% in math, June of my grade 12 year. Below 20% for math. June exam, I sat with a friend, we made shortcuts, hacks, we polished it. End of the year, we finished a three-hour paper in one and a half hours. We did the same paper twice. We got 100 for paper one, 100 for paper two. On my report, it just said A. But I know I didn't get an A. I, I don't think I got 100. I knew I got 100. Because I answered everything. And I did everything twice. I did it two different methods to check. I did it in one and a half hours in one way. Then I took the paper and did it in another way. And we, I got my distinction. And you know, when you get a distinction in math, you don't apply to university. University is applied to you. So what's university courteously applied to me and I generously accepted. Right. I then became a teacher. I then became a teacher specializing in mathematics because now I knew math is my game. That barking dog, I kicked it in its mouth. And now for the rest of my life, I said, this is going to be my mission kicking mats in its mouth. So guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Take out your books. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. Bismillah in the name of God. Let us get started. Right, right. You guys watch the K-Way TK. Oh, so, okay. Halala, so big, so big. Let's go, Matt, Baba. Let's go. We are starting with the first topic here, guys. Inequalities. 
Now, I know many of you don't know how to do inequalities. I'm just going to show you something. And it's imperative that we do this. Why? Because we're going to be using it throughout mathematics, right? Now, you know, in inequalities, guys, you've been taught this in grade 11 already. Any number greater than or greater than or equal to zero is positive. So we put pause. I'm going to show you a different way, right? Remember, I'm going to specialize in hacks. I'm going to specialize in shortcuts. I'm going to specialize in tricks, showing you the best possible way. So when you're done with the question, you don't say, I think I'm right. You say, what do we say, guys? I know I'm right. Away, away. Let's get started. Greater than zero is positive. Any number less than or less than or equal to zero is negative. So write this down. So here we go. What's the rule, guys? Just remember this acronym, pause or negbet. What does pause or negbet mean? I know it sounds Japanese to you. I know you've never seen this before in your life. Anyway, negative, negative, X lies bet is a short for between. X lies between two points. For positive, we use the word or. So let me show you how we do it. Remember the question is going to say solve for X. Now I'm going to start off with some easy ones and then build you up to some more difficult ones. So let's start off with the easy one. Q, question. X squared minus 2X minus 8. Let's do the less than or equal to 0. So we're doing this one here, the neg bet one. Right. So guys, follow me. Follow me. Take it down. We all know how we're going to crack this one in the exam. How are we going to do this? We're going to factorize. Guys, you are in grade 12 now. If you cannot factorize in grade 12, please go and do diet maths. Maths light. Maths lit. Right. Go and do maths on diet. Really? You cannot. You cannot do maths if you cannot factorize. Let's factorize. So here goes. Let me shut up. I talk too much. I get paid to talk, by the way. X, X, 4, 4, minus, plus. Minus 4 plus 2 will give me minus 8. So my two critical values here is plus 4 and minus 2. Are you all following me? Now, I'm using my learners here as a benchmark. So if my learners here, and I've, I'm seeing them here for the first time as well. So if they are understanding, and they are grade 11, so half of them are grade 11. If they are understanding, surely 10,600 should understand. Right. So these are our critical values. Right, guys? Your solutions. Now, what do you do? Step number one. Quickly, just draw a rough parabola. The lower critical value first. The higher critical value second. Right, Mr. Mudao? Are we all on track? Right. Now watch. Now watch. The beauty part is that we got the curriculum advisor sitting right next to me, Baba. Hey, don't play. We are on fire. We are on fire here. Right. Less than or equal to zero is what? Is it positive or negative? Talk to me. Negative. Less than or equal to zero is negative. And what's the rule for negative? That means between. You put X between the two points. Khalas, game over. Chop, chop, copy and paste. X, X, 4, 4, minus 2, minus 2. And use the same sign. Less than or equal to, less than or equal to. Game over. Now you know exactly in which direction your sign should go. Use the same sign. Why? Because any x value between these two points is below your x-axis. And we know that's where it's negative. So you just remember, neg bet. Negative between. X lies where? Between. So we put x between the two points. So take this one down, guys. Let's do another example. And then I'm going to build you up. We're going to go. Remember, I'm going to do the quadratic. And for, for grade 12s, you need to know the cubic one also. So you need to know how to determine an inequality on a cubic function. So guys, don't use the table method. I know your teachers at school, some of your teachers. And I also want to welcome all the teachers. Right? So there's, I know there's many teachers, curriculum advisors, uh, everybody on, online here. Just say thumbs up, guys. Thumbs up. And if you guys got a better way of doing it, talk to us. I'm not here to replace you. I'm here to support you. And if you got a better way, show it to me. Let's dial our meds together. Not for me, not for you, for the whole country. Hopefully, next year we do 228,000 learners at the same time. Inshallah. Say Amin. Amin, 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 Amin. So there we go. Neg bet. Let me shut up. Let's go for the next. We're still on the negative one. So, question in the exam solve for x. x into x minus 1 less than. Make up one. 
12. Let's go. Let's do it together. You want to do it on your own or you want me to do it for you? Right? Remember, you need to. This is guaranteed five marks in your exam. So let's go. X times X. Hassanain, are we all good there, my brother? How's, how's life on earth? Hassanain. <laughs> We're all good. We're all good. We're, all We're good. just getting into the flow of things. Are we and... getting into the flow and how's our registrations coming in? Yes, Mother. no, it's just focus. It's just focus. Focus. That's all that we need. Focus and get into focus. it. Focus. Let's focus. Let's focus. We are focusing. Let's focus. X times X, X squared. X times minus 1, minus X. Plus 12 will come. Remember, your right hand side must always be zero. It's a quadratic. Let us factorize. <laughs> Uh, 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 and and that wasn't that right. Four and three. I know it's Mr. Kota. Mr. Kota. Behave. Behave. I was one of the naughtiest boys in, in school. So Hassanin is my principal. Right. There we go. Our what what do we have here, guys? We got our critical values. We do the parabola, lower number first, higher number second, less than zero. Is it positive or negative? One dealer. Negative, uh, huh? Neg bet, neg bet, negative between X for double click and drag, double click and drag, less than, less than, game over. Wabon. Our Cape Town in the house, our way, as a date like my bro, as alles must, your Mr. K, it's most next like, hey, we got KZN also, hey, Lani, what kind? We Dalla don't talk like that in Cape, Cape Town. Sorry, uh, uh, sorry. We speak the Queen's English. We don't speak uh, like that. <laughs> Queen's English. <laughs> Yo, brah, I was in Mitchell's Plane. Yo, you must know. I love Mitchell's Plane. I love Cape Town. Kabiltu, Kabaltu, Fadi Pernadi Staltu. I heard that one yesterday. I was broken. I was finished for life. Broken for life, guys. Broken for life. So we are done. You all got it right. Did you all get it right? And say yes. Guys, communicate with us. Talk to us. Put it in the chat room. Awe. Thumbs up. We're loving it. Right. Let's do the positive. So that's the negative. That's the neg bet. That's done. Neg bet is done. Right? Owens. Stekis. <laughs> it's done. Let's now go on to. We're clearing frame. Guys, remember mathematics is about S-A-N. S for speed. Work fast. A for algebra. Make sure your algebra is good. And accuracy. Make sure that you are accurate. That you are accurate. And N is for neatness. Work neat. Mr. Kota, just yeah, remember a PG-13. Yeah, it's a family by. show. It's uh, a family show. development. We are on... We could... Uh, Potentially be on Hilal TV, you know. So don't yes, get in yes, yes, yes. troubles with your mother-in-law if you said something. No, no, no. big trouble, so. big trouble. Yeah, no, promise? I, I, I heard some promise. promise. Pinky, I promise. Pinky promise. 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 Okay. Pinky promise, boss. Pinky, pinky promise. PG thirteen. We keep it PG thirteen. PG ten. Right. So speed, accuracy, and neatness. Make sure you are fast. Make sure you are accurate. Make sure you are neat. Okay. Just in terms of process, right? Don't tell me, but look at your handwriting. It's like a cockroach has been dipped in ink and right run across your screen. Right, let's clear the frame. That's the neck bet. Let's do pause or. So let's say x squared minus 8x minus 20. Greater than or equal to zero. Now this one is the positive one, guys. Why? Because it's greater than zero. Any number greater than zero is positive. And what's the rule for positive? Guys, what's the rule? Or negative between positive or. So let's go. Let's factorize. Come on, guys. By now, you should be masters. The factors of 20 to give you eight. Uh, a eight. Cake for Jew. You almost a K. 10 and 2. Minus plus. What are our two critical values here, guys? Plus 10, minus 2. What we do? Parabola. Iparabol, Iparabol. <laughs> we are doing dipalo, izipalo. For those of you in KZN, you'll know. 
Dipalo is the palo is the Zulu and a Tosa word for mathematics, Baba. Mathematics. We are dialing. Right, here we go. Minus two and ten. Greater than zero is all. So you don't put X between, right? One delay. What you put? Or to the right, greater than or greater than or equal to. If there's an equal to, you put an equal to. If there's no equal to, you put no equal to. And then to the left, you put less than or equal to. It will always look like this. The arrows for all, the arrows, one delay, they point in the opposite direction. Right? You know, now you put the bigger number there and you put the smaller number there. Game over. Problem solved. Problem solved. Let's give you one to do quickly on your own. Right, watch here. I'm now going to take one from a past paper. So now that I taught you the topic, greater than or equal to, the arrows point in the opposite direction. Neck bet, the arrows point in the same direction. So come I give you one. Let's dala from a past paper. I'm now taking Department of Education, November 2019. So now let's apply what we learned. Right, one delay? That's the way we do it. I show you how it's done, and then we apply. We get it right, and we move on. We get our distinction, and we become rich. Isn't it? Yeah, bro. Uh, sharp, sharp. Sharp, sharp. Let's go. Clear frame. One from the Department of Education. Let's see what the department gave us. 4x squared minus 1 less than 0. Come on. This was your, uh, that was your final paper, man. Come on. This is chips. You know chips. Smarties, marbles. Bubble gum. Ibabur gum. Come now, let's factorize. Let's factorize less than zero. Come on. By now, you guys should be done already. A problem like this should be done in under 10 seconds. If you're taking more than 10 seconds to do a problem like this, guess what? FYI, for your information, you will fail. Nicely. So what's this? Difference of two squares. 2x minus 1, 2x plus 1. What's my two critical values? Plus half, minus half. Right? Why? Because 2x minus 1 equals 0. 2x equal 1. x equal half. That's how you get your CVs, critical values, your roots. Right? Why do plants not like mathematics? Because they get square roots. Bad jokes. Bad jokes. <laughs> I specialize in bad jokes, right? Anyway, let's go. Stupid joke. Right. Minus a half plus a half. Less than zero is negative. X, X, half, minus half. Right, Mr. Muele? Ma, Mudao? Ne, eh, there we go. There we go. Like this. Neck bet. Correct. Mr. Mudao say neck bet. <laughs> well done. Well done. The whole country now knows how to do neck bet. This is the one that came in the final exam. But now let's speed it up a little. Let's, let's put some fire underneath you. Right. Watch here. Watch here. Ah. Bona. Bona. Solve. Right. What if I told you x minus 5 over x minus 2? Less than or equal to 0. Ha ha. Ha. Hey, hey. Game over. Problem. It's a problem, this one. This one, she is the problem. Right, now listen. Watch here. Come and show you how to do it. Right. What? It's already factorized. So what are your two critical values here? Plus 5, plus 2. Right? So what do we do? We go there. We do that. We put 2. We put 5. Less than or equal to 0. Neck bet. X. We put X. 5, 2. Less than equal to, less than equal to. But wait. Look at the denominator. Can x equal to 2? Plus 2 minus 2. Watch here. Plus 2 minus 2 gives me how much? 0. Can you ever be 0 in the denominator of a fraction? No. So you just go to the denominator and you remove the equal to sign next to the value. So plus 2. It can't equal to plus 2. So we take out the one equal to sign. So there we go. We just take away the equal to sign. There's your answer. X less than or equal to 5, but just less than 2, but greater than 2. It cannot equal to 2. X cannot equal to 2. 
Look at the denominator. So what do we do? We remove in a fraction. So write this rule down. In a fraction, in a fraction, we remove the equal to sign next to the critical value. I'm writing in WhatsApp language. I hope you understand. Ne? Next to the CV critical value that makes, that makes your denominator, denominator zero. There we go. So I'm sure you can do the next one. I'm going to give you one to do on your own. So guys, don't use the table method for this. Don't use the number line. Don't use the table. It will help you to fail. Right? <laughs> just, just, just use what I'm showing you, right? Just, just listen, man. Listen, mamela. Mamela. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. Feed your comments. I know this is the, you know, you get the crazy Scotsman. You get crazy horse. You was the Apache. You get the crazy Scotsman who says, right, right, you wee buster. Let's go. Right. Now we got the crazy mathematician. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Let's give you one. 2x minus 1 over 4x minus 5. Ha! Greater than or equal to 0. This is a fraction. Let's crack it. Let's crack it. I'll give you a couple of seconds. Has the name. Okay. Oh, I must talk. Am I screaming? I talk loud, man. I've got a built-in amplifier. Sorry, man. Sorry, sorry. Ask okay. Me. Ask so, Mr. Koto, we yeah, boy, yes. have to. We have to just be in mind a little bit the audio levels, number one. Okay. And also, if we can go not too slow, but a little bit a notch down, right? Just for our learners to to get into the group of things. Okay, right? okay. Guys, get used to it. Get used to it. Remember, we've got two days of work to do. We've got the whole year. Mr. Madaw, thank you so much. All right, let's see, guys. Let's see, guys. Rod Gaz. <laughs> okay, Rod Machana. Let's go, guys. Right, what are your two critical values here? Your two critical values here are half. There we go. Right, 2x minus 1 equals to 0. x is equal to half. 4x minus 5. So x will equal to 5 over 4. Yes or no? Now, as a decimal, we know a half is 0, 0,5. We know as a decimal, 5 over 4 is 1 and a quarter is 1,25. So that means if I draw this, there we go. A half will be my lower number and 5 over 4 will be my higher number. Right. Right, guys. Right, South Africa. Right, guys, in studio. So there we go. Now, this is greater than or equal to zero. So it's positive. It's positive. So what is this? Or. So put or. X greater than or equal to. X less than or equal to. Higher number there, 5 over 4. Lower number there, are half. And there we go. Can X equal to 5 over 4? No. So we take away the equal to sign there. Just delete. And there we go. Guys, that is our final answer. How many of you got it right? How many? Wow, you're in class? All. Everybody. Well done. Isa, we are right. Five marks here. Easy stuff, right? Easy peasy. Right. One of the questions, the last one, the last one that came out in one of the past papers before, right? Let's check this. Some of you might have done this in your prep while you were working before. So take this one down, guys. And what I want you to do is if you feel you are writing too slow. Ah, well done. Well done, Zita. Zita, Hope. Lindiwe. Putalezi. Tamia. Larato. Well done. Well done. If you guys feel like you're taking it down too slow, and if you are working from your laptop, then take your, take your cell phones. Take a screenshot. Just screenshot it. Right. And then yes, you can write um, it down. Important uh, note to um, be emphasized, learners, do not panic. This is a YouTube video, right? So at a later stage or later on, you can pause this video. You can work through the problem, right? 
and then you can pause and play as you go along. So there's wow. controls in your Facebook screen or your YouTube screen. You can pause it, work through your problem, and see if you kind of uh, relate with the class. So this is post lesson. So for now, just, just, focus just ask you, and go with the problem. Hassanain, just just tell me quickly, Hassanain. Um, is this recorded? Will learners be able to access it like later on next week? This complete yes. recording? Ah, 100%. Wow. You see, wow. Mr. Kota, that lots of our learners, they know more about social media than me and you combine because this is a lesson on Facebook. This is a lesson on YouTube. Our wow. learners know how these applications work. And we are not going to remove this recording. This recording is going to be available on YouTube forever for you. So you're using ah, the same wow. link. You're going to be able to refer back you to that. that? Because oh, you didn't hear that. You're in class, you didn't hear that. Okay, no, it will be on YouTube and it's permanently on the site. You will always be able to access it and you'll always be able to replay it, review it and go. Okay, if you have Mr. Coulter, G bye. Let's resume with our lesson. Our All right, we are, are back go. in. We are back in. We are back in. We are back in. All right, one of the questions that came, let's see if you guys can do this one, right? Solve for X. Solve for X. Solve for X. And I tell you, 3x into x minus 5, less than 0. Solve for x. Let's check who's seen this one before. Right, K-Way students, those of you who have attended my workshops before or the NBT, you see the smiles. You see the smiles. They know how to do it. Those of you who have attended my, remember next year for grade 12, I'm going to be doing NBT training as well, eh? So, yeah, you guys must join. So, KW learners are smiling. They know how to do it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Right. This is, I'm going to, this is, this is going to wrap up our quadratic inequalities. I'm going to then do the cubic inequalities after this. Then we crack with calculus. So we hope our grade 11 sitting in here are activated because you're going to be learning brand new stuff. Is your grade 11 or 12? 11. Ah, so calculus is going to be brand new for you. But some higher order algebra after this also. Guys, we might not stick exactly according to the, the we'll have to stick according to time, but we won't stick exactly according to program. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Right. So here goes. Now watch here. You've got two factors equal to zero. Just think about, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So we got 3x. 3x is equal to 0. So x will equal to 0. You got x minus 5 equal to 0. So x is equal to 5. These are our two critical values. So we do that. We put 0 and we put 5. Less than 0, negative. x, x, 5, 0. Less than, less than. And that's your final answer. In fact, guys, the next one I want you to do is 3 to the power x into x minus 5, less than 0. Do this one. Those of you who got that one right, try this one here on the side. Do that one. I know you got this one right. That's easy. Come on, Dile. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All good, as a name. Yes, sir. Good. How's the comments coming in? They're enjoying it. Unlimited. Everybody loving it. Limitless, Mr. Kota. Ah, mashallah. Hey, mashallah. Hey, mashallah. Let's go. Let's go. Learn as you can connect with us. In. You can connect with us on our website. That's us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Post some pics of you in your session. Just make sure the screen don't crack. <laughs> Just sure. <to. laughs> let's go. Let's go. You should be done with that one. So I'm erasing here. Let's do the next one. Come on, guys. Come, we need to work fast now. We are grade 12 now. We are not grade 11. We are not small ones. We are the big ones. So 3 to the power x into x minus 5, less than 0, right? Let's go. 
Now we know 3 to the power x. What is 3 to the power x? Watch here. Wait, 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 wait. Vachabiki. Right, guys. Guys. 3 to the power x is exponential, right? <laughs> so that's your exponential graph. 3 to the x. Can it ever be less than 0? Can this graph, does anything happen here? This is the 3 to the power x graph. Can, does anything happen on the negative side? So all you do is you scratch that out. Not valid. <laughs> x minus 5 less than 0. X less than 5. Ah, Mr. K. 3 to the power x less than 0. Not valid. Doesn't exist. <laughs> Did you get it right? Serious. You are good. You are good. You are sharp like that. You are sharp like that. Right, Isa? But you, you didn't get it right, but now you got it right. <laughs> good. If you didn't get it right, just say, I didn't get it right. I mean, what are you going to do? I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to stand here and whoop you on your head or something like that. <laughs> Throw you with my calculator. Okay, guys. 3 to the power Question. x cannot be less than 0. So Question? Can G, question. On screen? Yes. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Let me fit. Don't we use log? No, 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 no. Nothing will happen here. 3 to the power x is a positive log graph. Because even less than 0, nothing happens here. Nothing happens here. The 3 to the power x graph can never be less than 0. Okay. Hope that Thank answers you. your question. Thank good, you. good. Let's go. Pleasure. Right. Let's, let's go on to... Right. Let's do the cubic one. Now what if I tell you solve for x and I tell you x minus 2, x plus 1, x minus 5. You know that's a cubic graph in calculus, right? Less than or equal to 0. Solve for x. Where will this graph be less than 0? So remember less than 0 means below. Less than, less than means below your x-axis. Greater than means above. So put your pens down. Let me show you how it's done. Let's do one example. It's easy. It's easy. I'm not expecting you to do it by yourself. All right. I'm here to help you. All right. Remember, guys, I'm here to teach you how to surf. Uh, make doing surfing the waves. That's with practice when you're working through your past papers. But I'll show you how it's done. All right. So we got plus two, minus one, plus five. There we go. Let's go there. It's a cubic graph. So we do that. Three x intercepts. Lower value there. Minus one, two, and five. Less than or equal to zero is what? Below. Where is this graph below your x? That's your x axis. Where is this graph below? It's below there and it's below there. So put an x there and put an x there. There we go. Right. So now. Here's your first inequality. X, 5, 2. Use the same sign. Less than or equal to. Less than or equal to. Or to the left. Remember, left is less. LL. <laughs> when the arrow points to the left, it's less. Or X, less than or equal to minus 1. There we go. That's your final answer. Now, sometimes in your exams, the memos will give it to you in, this is in inequality form, it's correct. Sometimes they might give it to you in interval notation. So they might, your memos might say minus infinity up to minus one, or they might say between two and five equal to equal to, so between two and five, like that. Sometimes the memo, the memo might give it to you like this, the memo might give it to you like that. That's just inequality form. And that's just, what's this? Interval notation. And there we go. Game over, guys. Game over. You can give it like this or like this. You don't need to give both. You can either give it in inequality form or you can give it in interval notation. Right. That's it. So let's give you one with a positive. And that's the cubic graph. Finish. Then we do some higher order algebra. Look, we are cutting, we're running late. We're running about half an hour late. So don't worry. Don't worry. Hang in there. Just bear with me. In fact, we might do the higher order algebra right through until break. And then after break, come back and start calculus one time. And then do functions with it. 
So we'll play around with the program, but we'll have to stick to time. Okay, guys. And maybe what we don't finish tonight, we might carry on first thing tomorrow morning. So no problem, guys. And if you guys want to make arrangements tomorrow till 4 o'clock, I'm here till 4 o'clock, guys. You'll come early with your coffee. We sit here till 4 o'clock. We dala. Right? Okay, onlineers, how are we doing? Talk to us. How are you guys there? Let me mention, let me give a shout out to some people there. Send me some comments. Send me your names. Right, let's clear the frame here. Let's clear the frame. Right, let's go into some higher, higher, higher order algebra. Let's start here. Consider the product. Right, listen to this. Consider, consider the product. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. Let's give you one more. Wait, wait. Ah, let's do. Hey, what's going on there? Clear frame. Where's my pen? There's my pen. Right. Let's see you guys do this one. X minus 4. X plus 2. X minus 2. Greater than or equal to 0. Last one. Last one in inequalities before I start with the higher order algebra. While you guys are doing that, let's check our comments out. Comment section. That's the name. Liven us up. This session is fire. in Nklankla. Boca Nova, so far so good. Hey, hey, joyful. You're surfing the waves, Richard. Let's hear, guys. On the, see? David Buanakawa. Where you are from? Chuma. Awe. Chimani Halala. Hey. We are on fire, guys. We are on fire. This room is on fire. Rent girls in the house. RHS Peter Meritzburg. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Let's go. Let's do this one. So what's our critical value? CVs. Sorry, guys, I have to flip screen. I can't see all your com comments while I'm on my whiteboard. So we'll just toggle between that. Minus two, plus two. We go here. It's always a positive graph. Even if there's a negative here, even if there's a negative, divide by negative, change your inequality over. Then you'll make it from greater than to less than, right? So what do we have here? Minus 2 plus 2 plus 4. Greater than or equal to 0 means above. Where is this graph above? It's above there and it's above there. So what do we do? We put an x there and we put x here. So here's your first inequality. There's your first x, 2, minus 2. It's between these two points. So you put less than or equal to, less than or equal to. If there was no equal to sign there, you won't put an equal to, right? Or to the right, all your x values to the right is greater than or equal to. x greater than or equal to 4. That's your final answer. And there we go. There we go. Did you all get it right? Onlineers, let's hear you. Did you get that one right? And this is a four-mark question, three-mark question. It's done in under five seconds, guys. Don't play. We don't think we're right. We know we're right. Yes, oratile hope. Hey, oratile means hope. Hey. Let's go. Nurin, yes, you got it right. Well done. Well done, Nurin. Okay, let's go. Let's start. Let's start. Check this one out. Okay, take a deep breath. You are about to go underwater. You are about to go underwater. So let's first start off with this one, right? If, 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 if 5 plus root 13 over 2 and 5 minus root 13 over 2 are two roots, are two roots of, that's 13, huh? 5 plus root 13 over 2 of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Find the values of a, b, and c. Let's go answer. Some of you, k students, I know you know this one, but then I'm going to give you something that you haven't seen before after this. k students, for if you were my student the whole year, you know this. If you've been part of our workshops before, Polokwani, we've done it. NBT learners, we've done it. 
Gateway learners, we've done it. Are you guys enjoying the show? Hey, where is my blue cow? I, I can't say the opposite of it. We can't advertise that energy drink. Where's my blue cow? Isn't my blue cow in my car? In the center? Huh? Okay, boy. Okay, boy. Okay, boy. What, what Mr. did I say? Mr. Kilter, you're getting ahead of yourself and you must be in my last year's program. We put you in the naughty boy corner, right? So just be uh, no, in no, mind. No, no, no. Let us okay, just calm I down. Need... Yeah. Calm down. Take a deep breath. Um, the lesson is, is very fun, all right? And learners, please pass this link on to all of your friends, colleagues, family, and friends. They may derive some benefit from there. If they are having any problem accessing the link, you can it's log on to the OCAF SA website. And on the website, on the landing page, we do have a video of this, the YouTube video of Matt's Paper 1. We are on Twitter. Let's we are on go, Instagram. guys. There we go. Hassanin, can we resume? Uh, there we go. Right. Now listen to me are two roots. So that means we can say 5 plus minus, 5 plus minus the square root of 13 all over 2. That's what x is equal to. We also know that x is equal to what? Minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Yes or no? So what we do? Watch here, watch here, watch here. Minus b, we map it. Minus b is equal to how much? 5. So we start. Minus b is equal to 5. b is equal to minus 5. In our denominator, 2a is equal to 2. So 2a is equal to 2. a is equal to 2 divided by 2 is 1. Oh! Oh! We map it! <laughs> I'm showing you flames here, brah. I'm showing you flames. Right. Then, look here. Zahra, what do we have here now? Now, it's underneath the square root. So now what do we have? B squared minus 4AC is equal to how much? 13. How much is B? Minus 5 squared minus 4. What's A? A is 1. 1 delay. C is equal to 13. Yes or no? So what? let's solve this. Minus 5 squared, 25. Minus 4C is equal to 13. Minus 4C is equal to 13 minus 25, minus 12. C is equal to minus 12 over minus 4. Remember, to get rid of the minus 4, C is equal to 3. And there we go. Wabon. First time. Understand? You understand? You understand? Like a Pakistani, you know, bob the head. Hey, Bob, the head, do you understand? We buy DVD. Up the stairs, down the stairs. We go DVD. Okay, Dylan. Dylan, can I tell him you're the prettiest boy in South Africa? <laughs> I'm, and I'm not gay. I'm married. I got four children to I got four children to prove it. But this boy is the prettiest boy. Mr. Kauta. No, I'm just saying, I'm talking, this is nothing wrong in saying that. Mr. Kota, we're dealing okay, with right. learners here, the sensitivities yeah, here. I'm not going to be able to pay for your, for your bail uh, for and bring you a meal. my bail. Yeah, we still got a so, mass paper too to do um, tomorrow, Mr. Yeah, Kota. they're so wrapping please. me. Oh, I'm getting wrapped here, bro. I'm getting okay. knocked focus. on my knuckles here. Focus. Focus, Mr. Kota. Yeah, we, we focus. Focus. I'm ADD by nature. I'm sorry. I'm ADH1000D. Right, we are deleting. Right, watch this one. Consider the product. Now, this one's going to hit you guys for a six. All right, let's talk some cricket language, the Queen's language. <laughs> That's what Cape Town wants us to talk like. What? One times two times three times four times dot, dot, dot times 30. Consider the product. They say consider the product. Right. Determine, <laughs> determine the largest value of K 
Where's K? The largest value of K. Where's K? I'm here. Such that. <laughs> Such that. 3 to the power K is a factor. And it's worth 4 marks. Come, guys. Take this one down. Take this one down. Come, I'll give you a couple of seconds. Process the problem. Mr. Process Coulter? it. Mr. Yeah, Coulter, I have to compliment you on your handwriting. We've had right. lots of positive feedback from some of the learners. Oh, They're really is, appreciative of, of your neat handwriting. And, and okay, I'm sorry. also sharing this with you. So you may also be consistent in doing the class with this neat handwriting. So kudos oh. to you, Mr. Kota. You're on the mark today. No, 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 no. Uh, are you being sarcastic? No, no, no. I'm... No, no, know, really, uh, Kasama, you're being sarcastic. I've, no, he, no, he's congratulating. No, they can't hear in the class, so I'm just repeating it here. He's congratulating me on my handwriting. I think he's being sarcastic. <laughs> no, <laughs> the doctor's Mr. handwriting, Kota. brah. No, there is an improvement from last year, and also it's some positive oh. reinforcement. So you may also continue to conduct the, the balance of the class also with this neat handwriting. Just saying. Jazakallah. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, they're going to lock me up. I know. There's it. There's it. I'm in trouble. Let's see, guys. Right. So consider the product. Determine the largest value of K su such that 3 to the... So let's put down all our factors of K. What uh, uh, of, of, of 30 that has got a 3 in it. So my first factor would be 3, which is equal to 3 to the power 1. Am I right? So 3 is equal to 3. Then we've got the next factor that will go is 6, which is equal to 3 times 2. Yes or no? So there's one 3. There's another 3. Then we've got the number 9. And the number 9 is 3 times 3. Then we've got the number 12. Am I right? And 12, sorry, let me erase that. The number 12 is equal to 3 times 4 or 3 times 2 times 2. Then we got the next number, 12. 13, 14, there's the number 15, which is equal to 3 times 5. Then 16, no. Then 17, no. Then 18. Let's go to the number 18. This is 3 times 6, which is 3 times 3 times 2. Then we got 19. Then 20. Then 21. Hey, we got 21 which is 3 times 7, then 22, then 23, then 24 has got a 3 in it. It's 3 times 8. No, 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 no. It's it, whatever contains a 3 in it. Whatever contains. I'm doing numbers that contain 3s in it that are part of multiples of 50, uh, or, or factors of, 50, uh, of 30. Right. So 24 is 3 times 8. So it's 3 times 2 times 4, right? Then we've got 27. And 27 is equal to, 27 is equal to 3 times 3 times 3. Then 28, 29, and then we've got 30. Am I right? And 30 is going to equal to 3 times 5 times 2. Now let's count how many 3s do I have. The largest the largest value of k and k is in the power such that it is a factor so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen k is equal to fourteen and there we go and there we go a1. Let's now go to another past paper. Let's give you another higher order algebra question. So we did inequalities to warm you up. We did the quadratic inequality, pause or neck bet. Don't forget that. Then we did the cubic above, greater than means above, less than means below. Then we did some higher order algebra. This is some of your last questions. Please learn your simultaneous equations. Learn your thirds from last year. Please know your grade. 
I'm not going to do quadratic formula solving for x. What the? Come on, come on. We are not at that juncture now. Okay, so you've taken it down. You've taken it down. You've understood it. We've took all the numbers that go into 30. 3 goes into 30. 6 goes into 30. 9, right? Or that contain 3s in it between 1 and 30. So the number 12 contains a 3. 15 contains 3s. 18 contains 3s. 21 contains 3s. 24 contains 3s. 27 contains 3s. And they say the largest value of k such that 3 to the power k is a factor. And there we go. Okay, we're ready. Are we on fire? Let's go. Can we clear the frame? Girls, boys, you're in class. One delay. Are we sharp? Let's clear the frame. Next one. Next one. They say, if n is the largest integer, listen to this. I know you guys hate these questions. Né? I know you hate that. They make nar. Né? If n is the largest integer, largest integer for which, for which n to the power 200 is less than 5 to the power 300, find the value of n. There we go. For three marks. And we're going to wrap up here. We're going to wrap up here. Remember, guys, we're just here to expand your brain. I'm not doing no, your normal easy stuff that you see in school, man. That you all know how to do. In fact, maybe we can do one where we can do uh, an exponential equation. Ah, how about we do something with a log in it? Yeah. Let's do something with a log in it after this to wrap up our higher order algebra. It's gone. It's finished. It's fine. No problem. <laughs> yeah. The nerves are on fire here. Yeah. Huh? Still. Still must happen. Must go down. How are you, Mem Collins? How are you, ma'am? I'm very well, thank you. Okay, while they're doing this and while they are crying with this problem, I just thought I'll introduce you. Come here, ma'am, Collins. Come, just come here on the side. This is my godmother. You know, I've got a godmother. And I'm Muslim. I'm Muslim and my godmother is Jewish. Right. And what a beautiful combination. Right. <laughs> right. Hello. Just say hello to everybody, ma'am. Hello, everyone. Say hi to hi. everybody. This is my godmother, and she's uh, she's Jewish, and I'm Muslim, and we love each other to bits. And uh, yeah, she's been with me for years, and I mean, this is my oracle, <laughs> <laughs> my go-to person, my woman of wisdom. <laughs> I'm After my wife, <laughs> I'm seeing the looks. No, no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just kidding, guys. Come on. Come on. All right. So let's see. How do we crack this one? How do we crack this one? I see they are fighting here in class. They are fighting for answers. Who's going to get it right? Uh, so then you must even tell us how all the prizes are going to work. Eh? People are asking, how are the prizes? How are the laptops? Because they're all expecting laptops here. Yes, no, definitely. So we'll give <laughs> clarity to that later on during the tail no end of the program. program. We are just no in problem. focus mode now. We are in focus mode. We are in focus mode. So n to the power 200 less than 5 to the power 300. Now what you can do, listen here, guys. Okay, they're fighting. They're fighting. Let's see now. Did you guys sort your fight out? Yeah. Oh, we're working together. Ubuntu. We are working together. Right. So what you can do, you can say n squared to the power 100 is less than 5 cubed to the power 100. Because if I make this to both to the power 100, I can find the 100th root on this side. I can find the 100th root on that side. And the 200th power 100 will cancel. So now we are just left with n squared less than 5 cubed is 
125. Yes or no? So n is less than. So what uh, uh, less than the square root of 125? And they did not say without the use of a calculator. So we can. So n is less than square root. Square root of 125 equals, we get 11,18. We get 11,18. And what is the largest integer less than? So what's your largest integer less than 11,18? So n, no, less, less. Eleven. <laughs> Words are not coming out. You are just seeing the actions. It's just okay. Great, great stuff. Great stuff, guys. Let's do one in terms of logarithms. Is this a register for a local? Hey, here's our. If our locals can just fill out the register. Because we are going to spam you to death. That's what we're going to do. Fill your email boxes up with Kway and Oka. That's what we're going to do. Tear you apart. Irritate you. Two o'clock in the morning. Ping! Mr. K is live. Come. <laughs> Did you all get this one right? Are you guys enjoying this, guys? Are you enjoying it? You better say yes. Wallabi, you better say yes. <laughs> Okay. Right, next one. Can I erase? You all got it. Right, next one. Let's see you guys. Now, guys, guys, watch here. Logs. Let me teach you logs quickly. Right. Let me teach you logs quickly. You know, if I tell you that three... No, no. Let's say two to the power X. I tell you two to the power X is equal to nine. I'm just showing you the concept, guys. If you don't know the concept of logs, Put your pens down and open up your ears. Now we cannot make the basis the same. Can you see? Nine is three squared. So we need to make the basis the same. But we cannot. So where exponents takes over, where, 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 where exponents ends, logs take over. Right? So the one is the husband, one is the wife. Right? So you see this one here, two to the x is equal to eight. This is... This we will call the husband. Why? Because he will end. Right. And where the husband ends, then the wife just continues to infinity. Right. So we'll call this the husband. 2 to the x is equal to 2 to the power 3. The basis will cancel. x is equal to 3. So that is the husband. He ends. Now where we cannot make the basis the same, we attach our friend a log. So just think that we're... The log, hit you with a log. So let's hit it with a log. What we attach to the left, log 2 to the power x is equal to log 9. So what we do to the left, we do to the right. Because logs is the only rule in maths that after you get hit on your head, you become the base. x log 2. So the woman is the only one that can bring a man down to size. So you hit them on the head, they become the base. They fall to the ground. Does it make sense? Must be. Is equal to log 9. Right. After you attach a log, after you hit it with a log, the power becomes the base. Right. You understanding what I'm saying? No. <laughs> Divide by log 2. We want to isolate x. Divide by log 2. What we do on the left, we are doing on the right. So x equal. I didn't get a Mr. Kota. Behave, log 9, close brackets, divided by log 2, close brackets, equals. And I get 3,1699, blah, blah, blah. So x equals 3,17. And there we go. So where we cannot make the basis the same, we attach the logs. All right, guys? Grade 11s also here? Yeah? Some of my advanced grade 11s. <laughs> you know, they sharp, yeah? At KW, they're sharp. They're finishing the old grade 12 syllabus in grade 11. So when they get to grade 12, they will be polished. We will only be doing revision. Ne? Let's go. So that's how we, we attach the log. Then we divide by the log on both sides to isolate the X. 
and we get x is equal to you can use your calculator here so x is equal to 3,17 so let's give you one exam question are you ready seven marks take a deep breath underwater let's go yeah no no don't drown i'm here i'm here i'm here to provide you oxygen don't worry don't worry i'm here don't fear mr k is here two to the power x plus two huh i know i will never i will never two to the power x minus two right two to the power x plus two plus two to the power x minus two let's see plus two to the power x come on i'm making this one up is equal to 45. Hey, hey, seven marks, solve for X. Go for it. Have fun. Ha, ah, we are clearly, we are now getting into the flow of things. The hype is there. And they don't say without the use of a calculator. They can even tell you correct to two decimal places. Ha, ah, let's do that. Correct to two decimal places. So what, what is that instruction for you? That you can use a calculator. Go for it, guys. And as we go along, guys, as we go along, even if I'm doing functions and I'm, I come across a quite algebra problem that I just come up or I think of, I'll just boom it. Give it to you. Boom. You know, like the crazy Russian. We just hit you. Boom. Vladimir. Let's go, Vlad. But why, Mr. Kota? Why? Why you make these Cold War jokes? No, this is no, no, Putin. I, I, I didn't say Putin. You said it. I didn't. I just said Vlad. You mean Vladimir Putin? No, is it could have been Russian, Boris Yeltsin. Russian in the world? No, there's many Russians in this world. Yes, there's and many, when... many Vladimir. Vladimir is like Mohammed. Mohammed, everywhere is Mohammed. Yeah, Every second person's name is that's surname a is Mohammed. That's, that's a stereotype. Why you said Putin? I didn't say hmm? that. You no, can't no, no, hit no. me on the knuckles for that. No, you're referring to a Russian, uh, Russian person over here. Uh, oh, I didn't say. You said it. Hmm. Okay. I got a fight on time your, out. Uh, time out. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's fight. Let's break down. Let's break it up. 2 to the power x times 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power x times 2 to the minus 2 plus 2 to the power x is equal to 45. Hey, clap your hands. Clap your hands if you got it right. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. <laughs> right, let's go. Huh? You, you wish you knew me in grade 11. Ha! When you were there, hey, we would have clapped it. All right, now we break it up. What's my highest common factor? 2 to the power x. Or must I also sign the register? Okay, so 2 to the power x is common. So what am I left with? I'm left with 2 to the power 2 plus, remember, I took it out. I took it out plus 2 to the minus 2 plus I took it out. When you take out a number from itself, what are you left with? 1 is equal to 45. So 2 to the power x into 2 squared. Let's do this. 2 squared is how much? 4 plus 1. So let's just erase it. Let's skip a step, man. Come on, guys. We are not in, we're not in grade 1 now. 4 plus 1 is 5. Plus 2 to the minus 2 by now you know is a quarter is equal to 45. So 2 to the power x into 5 plus a quarter is 5 and a quarter, ne? And 5 and a quarter is 21 over 4 is equal to 45. We want to isolate that. So 2 to the power x is equal to 45 times. How do, how do you get rid of 21 over 4? You multiply it by reciprocal, reciprocal, 4 over 21. So times 4 over 21. So times 4 over 21. So 2 to the power x equals. What do we have? Let's go to our calculator. 45 times 4 divide by 21 equals 8,57. Yes or no? Now attach logs. Isn't Yunus? <laughs> Yunus? 
Guys, I taught her sister in 2008. And she got the distinction. It was 2000 and great. <laughs> so now we attach a log. So now you're going to say x log 2. x log 2. Remember, we attach a log. We attach a log is equal to log 8,57. So x is equal to, you can write it like that. I know some of you who are advanced, you're going to ask, but sir, can we not write it as log 2, 8,57? You can. If you're smart, no problem. You'll get it right. But we'll just do it as log 8,57 divided by log 2. Right, Zahra? So there's it. It's out. So what's our final answer? x is equal to, let's do it, log. Put in your calculator, log. 8.57 close brackets divide by log what log 2 close brackets equals what do we get 3,099 3,099 they said correct to two decimal places so x is equal to we look at the third one after the comma we change that your answer is 3,1 your answer is 3 g by No K method here, guys. No K method. The log method. You, when do you use the K method? You use it when the middle term is X and the first term is 2 to the power 2X. Then you use the K method. But you came to the same answer. Oh, okay, never mind. I'll give you the marks. Guys, there are many ways to get to Cape Town, brah. Some of you take the garden route. Some of you take the N1. Well, whatever floats your boat, right? Hello, Dylan. How are you, my guy? You all right? All Question. Right. It's a good time to be alive, guys. It's a good time to be alive. Okay, that brings us to uh, the end of our algebra. And it is, whoa, it's break already and we haven't even Mr. started. Mr. Coulter, okay. we got a question. Yes, let's go, let's go, let's go. How let's many see. marks? Oh, how many marks was there? Seven marks. Wow. Yes, seven marks, guys. This was seven marks. Why? Because you had to use your grade 11 um, method to actually isolate X. And then you had to use grade 12 where you had to apply your logs. In Always look, you, know, you must know logs is a major grade 12 component, right? So try and look in every question, do, are they including a log in the question? And if they are, then you know. Aisha Laher, that answers Aisha Laher's question. I hope I answered your question, Aisha. That brings us to, I know you guys are so much on fire, you don't, you're not even hungry and you don't want to go for break. Isn't you don't want to go for break? Tell us a name, I don't want to go for break. Say no, no break. No, it's a name, no break. No, other one. Uh, the other break session, that's me. <laughs> I guess we have to go for break now. I said, do I have to? No, you don't have to. Uh, look, we, we have to make up time, Mr. Coach. Yeah, I know, but we've got 10,000 people learners. that are hungry. I know they got uh, feeding yes. schemes. They got um, they yes. Mr. Delivery also. They got those, you know, uh, those road bikes, uh, the road. Uh, mm. Okay, I'm not going to say it. I'm being right. But anyway, they, they got Mr. Mr. D's mm. delivering for them right now. Okay, yeah. guys, I hope you enjoyed the first session. We are coming back with calculus and we're coming with a bang. Please, guys, I, I, I don't need to blow the whistle or ring the siren. 11 o'clock, make sure you are online. Enjoy your break.
But I made it in one second, brah. I made it in one second. Let's go. So we can call you Golden Flash now, uh, Mr. Koto. I made it all the way back to Crosby. I ate and I came back and I made it here in three seconds. It, I, it was it said three, two, one. Yo, ya Allah. I'm convinced that you have some supernatural powers. I think <laughs> math, mathematics and the understanding and the teaching thereof is one of those superpowers. I hope that you are replenished. Uh, you have calmed down. We're all good. Really more ox- oxygen. We're all good. I must say, Mr. Kota, I'm really yeah. enjoying myself. I think we are vibing. Um, at, even though I'll I'm rubbishing you some of your... Enjoying. Some of your, some of your side humor, but I think it's very good. I think the learners are really enjoying the session. Uh, the interaction has been good. So learners, we need some Facebook love, right? Mm. There's more YouTube subscribers or people on the session than Facebook. So any of you or your friends would like to tune in via Facebook, give us some Facebook love. You can uh, log on to Ocuf. When you go into Ocuff's uh, Facebook page, search for Ocuff's on Africa. Yes. And we want some more subscribers on Instagram and Twitter. Give us some feedback. Let us know how the workshop is going. Because without your feedback, then we won't know if we are doing something good or we're doing something that is of no uh, value whatsoever. So feel free. To give me your feedback, you know, it could be after the session that, look, the session helped me to understand calculus and I'm going to be getting a distinction this year while I was struggling. Give us some feedback. So it kind of reinforces that we are on the right track, right? So tell me, Mr. Kota, just before we commence, what can we expect for tomorrow's session? Just in brief. Look, depending on what we do today, we're going to try and push to try and cover as much of paper one as possible. Uh, We're starting with calculus now, and then we're going to go into functions. Whatever we don't complete today, we're carrying over first thing tomorrow morning. So we've got calculus, we've got functions, we've got finance and probability. There might be one or two topics that I might carry on first into tomorrow morning, and then we start with paper two, and I'm starting with compound and double angles, the trigonometry, which Mr. Mudawe said now that they've now said 50 marks for trigonometry for 2022 and calculus also being between 40 and 50 marks a third of your paper so we can guarantee ourselves for algebra right question one paper one we guaranteed ourselves our first 20 marks we know how to do inequalities we know how to do logs we know how to do higher order questions we know how to do the quadratic uh, formula so question one we sorted question two calculus that's what we're starting with now 40 to 50 marks 40 to 50 marks, 40 to 50 marks, right? And let's get started with calculus, guys. Now, I'm, here we go, here we go, here we go. Slow, no, no, fat, so. Uh, I'm staying hydrated full time here, bro. I got about four or five bottles here of water here. You ready, Pule? Let's get started, my bra. Uh, can we get it? Can we launch? Can we launch, Hassanin? Do I get the green light to launch? The floor is yours, Mr. Kota. Let's take us to a higher level. Let's Let's go go. to another planet. All right. So we finish with the moon. We finish with, uh, what's it? Mercury, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. We finish with Mars. Let's go to Jupiter. Right. We're starting on Jupiter now. Right. We're space. Right. So we start with calculus. And let's get started. This is what you guys need to know in calculus. Here are your topics. So my grade 11s that are sitting here. This is what you need to know. First principles, right? Put down these topics. This is even the order in which. Now, remember, 50 marks, guys. 40 to 50 marks. 40 to 50 marks. A third of paper one is calculus. We're going to crack it. We're going to go into it in so much of details. Right? Until we make sure that we guarantee our marks. Let's go. Number two, first principles. Then we go on to derivative. Derivative. Then we do differentiation, differentiation. I'll give you your mark allocations now. And then we're going to do equations of tangents, equations of tangents, of tangents. And then we're going to do the cubic graph. 
very interesting. I love calculus. This is my forte. This is my, my, okay. Uh, I got knock, uh, knocked on my knuckles before for language. So this is my game. You know, yeah. dot, dot, dot. Right. Kiwi graph and optimization. Optimization. And that's a uh, calculus application in real life. Right. Question, Mr. Koto. Question, question, question. Are we going to be doing series? Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Unless we will do sequences and series. We'll try and squeeze it in wherever we can. Remember, we're fighting. It's a race against time, guys. It's a race against time. Right. First principles, five marks. The derivative, three marks. Differentiation, another five marks. So you'll get one derivative, one differentiation. Equations of tangents, about six marks. The cubic graph, about 12 marks. Optimization, 10 marks. Let's see where we at. 8 and 5, 13. And 6 is 19. And 10 is 29, 39, 41 marks. So there we go. I said between 40 and 50 marks. These are our topics. Take them down. We need to know all of this for calculus. Let me explain to you what calculus is for our newbies here. Right, newbies? You know for a straight line graph, how do we find the gradient? y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. For any other graph besides a straight line, mm. to find the gradient, yeah, we use like calculus. Like a, a Agreed? Huh? Right? I mean, you understand what I'm saying? For a straight line, we use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. For any right. other right. graph, we use right. calculus. This is what we call the derivative. Right. So you've taken all this down, guys. Let's get started with first principles. Let me explain to you. First principles, first <sighs> principles is finding the gradient, is finding the gradient, and you can make a note of it there. First principles mm -hmm. is finding the gradient using the formula. Is finding the gradient using the formula. And I'll give you the formula when we start now. Derivative is also finding the gradient. But by using the power rule, and I'll explain to you what the power rule is. We're going to do examples here. And the power rule is the derivative, right? Which is the power rule, differentiation. That's a shortcut, guys. The power rule here is a shortcut. So not using the formula. We get the same answer. The one is using the formula. We get the gradient using a formula. The next one is using a shortcut. That's called derivative. Differentiation is finding the gradient for more complex functions. Then equations of tangents to a function, to a graph. You know what's a tangent? Y is equal to mx plus c. Tangent is a straight line that touches at one point. Then we're going to do the cubic graph. A graph that goes like that, how to sketch and how to find equations. And then optimization, we're going to do volume and total surface area. And don't stress, guys. we got something lovely planned for you. The total surface area, your, your teachers give you different, at schools, you guys got different formulas for different shapes, your standard shapes. Whoopsie. Boom. Bang. No. <laughs> Just heard the brakes. Right. Waiting for the bang. Anyway, no, that was another comet passing us on planet Jupiter. <laughs> right. And anyway, total surface area, I'm going to give you one formula you can use for all shapes. For all your standard shapes, I'll give you one formula for all shapes. You'll just tweak the formula. All right. That's how you'll remember it. You've got volume total surface area. You've got optimization on graphs. And then you've got our lovely one, which everybody cries, but it's so easy. Speed, velocity acceleration that all forms part of calculus application let's get started we're starting with the first topic here first principle that's the first question opening question opening question under calculus right let me give you the formula first let's give you the formula Yeah, some lekker samosas and coke here. Okay. Oh, the red drink. 
Let's get started. First principles, cup. Right, you guys got it? Everybody took it down. Are we good to go, guys? Let's start. Like I said, if you, if you feel like you write too slow and you got your phone, take a screenshot. Take a screenshot, work fast. It's a race against time. Let's go, clear frame. So this is how the question will appear in the exam. So not only, listen to me, for those of you who are doing it for the first time, not only am I going to show you how it's done, but I'm using an exam question to show you how it's done. So if you learn it, you know it. Right. So watch here. Watch here. Here's the formula, right? The formula says the f dash x is equal to, that's the gradient on f of x, is equal to the limit as h approaches 0, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. That's the formula. It's a new formula. Everybody's gasping here. <gasps> it's easy. It's easy. f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. What does limit as h tends to 0 mean? It just means the maximum limit that a secant can travel until it becomes a tangent. Right? A maximum limit. But I'll show you how it's done when we unpack it. Right. Let's get started. Here's a question in the exam. If f of x. Now, those of you who are good, those of you who have done it before, Bismillah, start with me. If f of x is equal to, let's say, 3x squared minus 2x, find f dash x by first principles. So here is your instruction to use the formula. It's worth five marks. Answer. Go for it. Those of you who know how to do it, start it. Don't wait for me. Right. Now, those of you who don't know how to do it, those of you who don't know how to do it and who are doing it here for the first time, watch. What does the question mean? Here's f of x is a parabola. Find the derivative, find the gradient by using the formula in English. Agreed? Agreed, Alia? They're giving you a parabola. They're telling you find f dash x. Find the gradient of your parabola. The general gradient at any point by using the formula. Do you understand the question? Right. Now let's show you how to apply it. Now I'm going to show you steps. The first thing you do, you got f of x. You remember in your formula. In your formula, you got f of x. You got f of x. What are you short of? f of x plus h, am I right? That means if this was f of 1, we'd put 1. If this was f of a, we put a. f of x plus h, it means for every x, what must I put? x plus h, am I right? So let's go. Step number 1. f of x plus h is equal to, for every x, I'm going to put x plus h. Right? What's your first name again? Hannah. Right, Hannah. Hannah. Right, let's go. 3 into, for every x, I must put x plus h squared. Minus 2 into x plus h. I'm not applying the formula yet. I'm only finding out what is f of x plus h. Are you with me? This is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It's the same thing. It's a formula. So let's start. Can I remove the brackets here? Let, follow me. 3 into, let's remove the brackets. x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 2x minus 2h. Right? And multiply it out. Let's remove the brackets. 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus 2x minus 2h. So there we go. We got f of x plus h. So we got f of x, Hannah. We got f of x. And now we got f of x plus h. Agreed, Hannah? Now what do we do? Step number two, we apply the formula. So this is step number one. Step number two, we write the formula. You get a mark for the formula. I'm showing you a template. So you will answer it in the exam exactly the way I'm doing it here. Copy. Right. Let's go. Formula. What's the formula? F dash X general gradient is equal to the limit as H approaches zero. F of X plus H minus F of X all over H. Now we sub. Now we substitute into the formula. What is f of x plus h, Hannah? Isn't f of x plus h 
thus yes or no let's plug it into our formula so there we go 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus f of x what does the formula say hannah minus f of x so minus that so now both these signs will change because of this negative minus 3x squared plus 2x all over h right hannah now we're doing normal algebra hannah 3x squared minus 3x squared will cancel out am i right minus 2x oh what, what did i leave out something no 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3x squared oh gosh oh gosh wait let's go back anna you didn't correct me <laughs> 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus 2x minus 2h minus 3x that's the whole of f of x plus h minus f of x minus 3x squared plus 2x all over h so plus 3x squared minus 3x squared will cancel right hannah plus 2x minus 2x will give me zero yes or no now hannah i need to get rid of the h at the bottom and i got a h i got a h and i got a h what do we do in algebra correct not like you saw read my lips or something so we take out h 6x right plus 3h minus 2 all over h right hannah then the h and the h cancels out right hannah now we say but h tends to zero uh, but h tends to how much h therefore your final answer f dash x your general gradient there we go that's zero what am i left with hannah 6x minus 2 6x minus 2 done that's your answer if your original is a parabola your gradient is one power less which is a straight line now you will only do this when the question asks by first principles it will ne you'll never ever use this this again in calculus we'll be using the shortcut after this you'll only use it for question number one where the question says by first principles that's your instruction for you to use the formula so we do for hannah let's go through this quickly one more time hannah step number one we find f of x plus h step number two we use our formula step number three we took out the highest common factor to cancel h am i right step number four we insert zero step number five that's my final answer you answer it like this in the exam you get five marks copy and paste right take it down take it down i hope you all got it right let's see our onliners onliners did you all get this one right we'll do one more we'll do one more slightly different so you learn this one you learn this one that means for every x we first must put x plus h right let's see let's check our um stream yard stream yard as i know we're doing there brother how's our comments coming in how's our peeps doing are they showing us some love <laughs> are they giving us love where's that surname jupiter calling to us i am here mr kota <laughs> how are you my so brother? we're cooking with gas we're cooking with gas lots of the learners are very sharp yeah. They were able to get this uh, answer quite answer. easy on. Yeah, so Lovely. clearly the multivitamins is working and they don't have to rely on that drink that you were talking about. Oh, How's yes, that? yes, 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 yes. Correct. The multivitamins, eh? But we can't mention the name, right? Otherwise, we'll get sued, is it, on TV? No, the, otherwise we'll be hit with a, a paid endorsement uh, request you know um, oh. yeah yeah don't come with your influencer uh, your social uh, media uh, influencer thing coming to un, uh, endorse certain brands and you're not getting paid for it you know yeah, yeah mentioning yeah. that beverage. next time i'm coming here for the moolah bra i'm coming for the dough i'm Is coming it? for the dough yeah 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 i'm gonna get all of okay. them They're okay so tell me how's the learners doing in are they doing the class well? Are they with you? Are they vibing? Yeah, they are. are you guys vibing? Get like a wave. 
Can, can we, we get can away from you guys? Like, see that the sign of, sign of life. Sign of life there. Sign of life. How yes. dance in the air. Can we do like a Mexican wave? Starting with it. Starting with you. Start with the Mexican wave. Come on. Put your hands up in the air. Yeah. Second time. Second time. Second time. Another one. Another one. Another one. Woo. <laughs> Again, one more, one more, one more, one more. Hello. Hello. Okay, okay, okay. You okay. Get back to math. Asanin, you're getting carried okay. away. Back to the ranch. Back to the. <laughs> 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 so, Asanin, I need to cont- I need to ground you, bra. Right. Focus. 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 Asanin, you forgot to take your pills this morning, right? <laughs> I took an extra one just for you. Just for me. Right. Now, that one was in terms, guys, that one was in terms of a parabola. So, you now you know. You just learn this one. Keep on practicing on it, right? All right. What if I told you minus 3 over x? If f of x is equal to minus 3 over x, find f dash x by first principles. Right. Let's all do it. Let's all do it together. All right. You guys know the process, ne? Hannah, what's the process? Let's all go through it together, the process. F of X plus H first. Then the formula. Then substitute. Then take out H. Then substitute H. Then get the final answer. That's it. That's it. Let's all do this together now. Let's have fun. Guys, I hope you took a screenshot. I cannot wait like five minutes and ten minutes for you guys to take a question and an answer down. And please make sure, guys, you take down the correct solutions. The biggest mistake today you can make is taking down the memo wrong. Imagine. Hmm. You might just end up like the final paper. (laughs) The final paper is full of errors. There is always an errata. So don't worry. Check for errors in your paper, guys. In a question paper, I'm talking about your final and your prelim question paper. Check for errors. Right, whoever is good, you have started it already and you probably done already. The rest of you, let's check. Hana, in our answer, f of x plus h, Hana, is going to be minus 3 over for every x. I'm going to put x plus h. Right, Hannah, Montana. What's it, Hannah Montana song? Na 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 Another another mountain to climb. How does it go, man? I don't know. Sing it for me. The climb, the climb, the climb, the climb, the climb. Eh? We, we, we. No, uh, this is a halal station. We can't. They're gonna fire me. They're gonna say I'm doing haram things on a halal station. Right, so now we're going to go with our formula. F dash X is equal to the limit as H approaches zero. F of X plus H minus F of X all over H. That was my favorite gem. I promise you, I used to like Hannah Montana. Shame. Until she became mine. Oh, okay, let me keep quiet. <laughs> right, let's start here. F of X plus H minus 3 over X plus H. Minus f of x. So minus minus 3 over x, Anna. It's plus 3 over x. Right? Are you following me? Divided by h. Watch what I'm doing. This is algebra. So I'm going to say divided by h over 1. I'm moving it to the side so it's easier to work. That's that h. Now, what do we do, Hannah? When we divide, we tap n times. Am I right? So we multiply it by 1 over h. Now, Hannah, we're doing algebra now. Put your pens down and follow. Right. So now in the brackets, bod mess. What must I do? LCD. What's my lowest common denominator here? What's my LCD? X into X plus H. Yes or no? So X plus H, X plus H cancels. We're left with X times minus 3 is minus 3X plus X and X will cancel. X plus H times 3, 3 into X plus H times 1 over h. Now let's remove the brackets. Guys, I'm moving to the side. Give me a second. I'm moving to the side because I got no space. 
So now we got, got the limit as H approaches zero. Uh, what am I left with here in the brackets here, Hannah? Work with it. Follow. Right, call it out for me. Multiply this out for me. Minus 3X plus 3X plus 3H over X squared plus XH times 1 over H. Right? Now what do I do? Minus 3X plus 3X will cancel. The H at the bottom and the H on top cancels. So just to rewrite this for you, limit as H tends to 0, what am I left with? 3 over X squared plus XH. Now I say, but H approaches 0. Therefore, F dash X, your general gradient, is 3 over that 0. And what am I left with? X squared. And there we go. We are done. Final answer. How many of you got it right? Say yay. Give us a double hands up there on, on social media. Facebook, Insta, FB, Insta. Uh, I only learned last week what I saw a person with a t-shirt saying link in bio. So then I had to ask my daughter, what does link in? She's a dad, dad, dad. Like, come on, come on. Link in bio. Yeah. It, it literally means what it says. Link in by. Uh, uh, okay. I, I, I had no. I just saw link in by. I'm getting used to this kind of terminology for the millennials. Asanayin, how's our comments coming in? Everybody getting it right? Oh, got it. Well done, Rachel. Well done, Oretile. Yay. Barongwa, Daneo, Shop Shop. Away on. <laughs> right, very good, very good, very good. Ah. You can, if you put it like that, or you put 3x to the minus 2 also, but don't. Leave it like this. Leave it like that. Leave your answer with positive powers. Right, now watch, guys. Now, you saw that first question that I gave you. Remember I told you 3x squared minus 4x? And the answer was 6x minus 4, ne? Or What's it? What was the question? Okay, wait. Let's go back to that. Okay, now we're doing the power rule. Derivative. Now, so, we're done with first principles now. Finish. Right. We're now going on to the derivative. Now, guys, few rules for derivative. Let's go on to the power rule. Now, when the question doesn't say by first principles, Anna? So watch here, Anna. If the question, look here, right. <laughs> now I'm using her as my yardstick. So she's the one because like, uh, okay, all of you, all of you like doing it for the first time. And if you guys are understanding it for the first time, then my big grade 12s here, they should be able to crack it. Right, now watch. So now if the question just says, if f of x is equal to 8x cubed, minus 6x squared plus 5x minus 4. Find f dash x. Now, Hannah, does the question say by first principles? No. That means we have to use the shortcut. We've got to use what we call the power rule. What is the power rule? So let's write the power rule here. Guys, and this is for all of you. The power rule. We take the power. We multiply it by the coefficient. And then we minus 1 from the power for each term. The power times coefficient minus 1 from the power. And you do that for every term. So let's do that. Hannah, put your pen down. Watch. In our answer, we go f dash x is equal to. We're not using the formula. We're using the shortcut now. Watch here, Hannah. Power times coefficient to get your new coefficient. So 3 times 8 is how much? 24x. And what must I do? Minus 1 from the power. 3 minus 1 is how much? 2. Right, Hannah. Next term. So I'm done with that. 2 times minus 6. Minus 12. x to the power? 1. Plus 1 times 5 is 5. x to the power 1 minus 1 is 0. Any base to the power 0 is still 1. And what's... and 
the constant or derivative falls away. Why? Why? You de you deriving x. A constant is a straight line. Isn't that minus 4 a straight line? Does a straight line have a gradient? No. So it falls away. That's your final answer. There's it. One step. Power times coefficient minus 1 from power. And the derivative of a constant is always equal to 0. Right? The derivative of a constant this year is a straight line. Straight line. Which has got 0 gradient. So we just cancel it out. Done. So if it's f of x, you say f dash x. What if it's given to you in terms of y? Watch here. What if they told you y? y is equal to 6x to the power 4 minus 5x squared plus 10x minus 2. Now when you are finding the derivative, question, answer. When you Another word for gradient is derivative. So now I'm just using the word. Now you'll only, I won't say gradient. I will always be using the word derivative because the word derivative means gradient. But that's the proper vocabulary to use for calculus, for the gradient. It's derivative. Right. So now we say dy over dx. We're applying the power rule. You're deriving y in terms of x. Right? Power rule. Same thing like the above. 4 times 6, 24. x to the power 4 minus 1, 3. 2 times minus 5, minus 10. x to the power 2 minus 1, 1. Good. Plus 1 times 10, 10 x to the 0, 1. The derivative of minus 2 is how much? 0. That's your final answer. Finish. Say dy over dx. If it's in terms of f, you say f dash x. When it's in terms of g, you'll say g dash x. If it's in terms of h, you'll say h dash x. But if it's in terms of y, you'll say dy over dx. No. It's always dy over dx. Right. Now, it might be, right, so now, okay, right, okay. right, right, you crazy, right, Scotsman, right, we now go into differentiation. So now you know the power rule, ne? what's the power rule? Tell me again. Pa power times coefficient minus one from power, right, so power times coefficient. Minus one from power. So now we go on to what we call differentiation. So let's put our new topic down. So we're already on the third topic, guys. Differ and now here we're going to do four examples. I'm choosing ones from past papers here, right? All the different styles that you could see in your exam. Differentiation. Mr. Coter. Levi. Could you perhaps use like a thicker stroke or a little bit thicker? So it's a little I bit uh, clear. I can't go. Then it becomes it? too thick. No. Okay. So That's the next one after that. So if I go differentiate, <clears throat> whoa, no. look at that, bruh. My That's eyeball. bad. Okay. Let's go that to hurts. the next thing. Perhaps That's, we can that, just that. make your stroke a little bit fatter. Let's go to okay, your... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Um, wait, wait, wait. Okay. So I'm on 100. But you know what? If I go on 200%, it becomes too big. But okay. Anyway, let's just try. Oh, no, how's that? Oh, that's hurting my eyes. How yeah, is, yeah, it's how's that, uh, learners? Yeah, so let's go back to our... no, no. So, wait, 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 give me a second. Give me a second. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's go here. Let's go here. Right, we now, right, let's go here. The for is that better? I'm writing a bit bigger. Well, that's the original. Yeah, you can. Do that let's, right let's try. okay let's 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 try and write bigger right so differentiation now differentiation we said is the power rule but for more complex graphs right but you do differentiation in three parts you do three steps remember i told you f dash x we do it in those parts i'm going to give you templates now but you do differentiation in three parts b d a before during and after uh before uh not be before differentiation, differentiation, and after differentiation. So the before part, listen to me. BDA, before death, death, and after death. Right? Death by differentiation. Right? So now, look here. Let's, listen to me. I want you guys to picture a scenario. Right? All of you, put your pens down. Put your pens down. Right? I want you to picture you are in the 18th century. I want you to picture you in the time of the queen. Of England. All right. Or Scotland. Uh, Scotland. <laughs> Braveheart. 
<laughs> do it for your country. Right. Anyway, let's get back to English. Right. Imagine you were, you were about to execute a group of people. Say the five of you were about to get executed, right? So anyway, before we execute you, right? So all these guys, they are all heavily, all these soldiers are heavily, uh, uh, you know, dressed. So we're going to undress them, put them in their boxer shorts, right? Because we're about to chop their heads off. So we, what's the first thing you do? You put them all in a straight line. Am I right? Listen, you put them all in a straight line. Then you undress them. So how do you undress in algebra? You take out your third signs. You take out your, you know, you use algebra to simplify. You, we simplify you. We make you kalkat. Right. <laughs> Then are you serious, Mr. Kauter? No, 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 are lie. you serious? I, I, I want you to listen. I want you, just, just it follow sounded my very of... suggestive, Mr. Kauter. No, man, no, man, no suggestion, order. man. No, man, no suggestion here. Just follow my train of thought. So we're about to execute you. So now we get you now in your simplest form. Now you go to the gallows, brah. Now you go to the gallows. So now, before we simplified you, D, death by derivative. And what is it? Let's think of a sword, right? Sword action. We're starting from the power. Times coefficient. Boom. Head off. Make sure the head is off. Minus one from power. Yes. Power. Times coefficient. Minus one from power. And now what do we have? Guts flowing, heads rolling. You, you see it, huh? Huh? And now, obviously, your family wants to see the deceased. So obviously, after you are done, they want to stitch your head back on. So they want to put a smile on your face so you look good. So you write the answer with positive powers, right? <laughs> so before differentiation, listen, this is the before part. We want to get rid, get rid of brackets, third signs, or unknowns from a denominator if it's a fraction. Denominator. So we simplify. Before we simplify, D, death by derivative. And what's the derivative? The power rule, the sword action, guys. Don't forget, make sure the head is off. Minus one from the power. So we apply the power rule. Right, Dylan. And then A, you write your answer with positive powers. Now, that's not suggestive, a suggestive. That is just morbid and bleak. You picture that. Clearly. What else did you picture? Come on, let's see your imaginations. People throwing tomatoes at the people whose heads are going to be cut. Lettuce. Old. And then you get these old lady hags in those old... Yeah, okay. I'm watching too much of uh, Richard. King Richard. The Knights of the Round Table. Ma'am Collins, did you visualize that? <laughs> right if you watch earth to rule time for heads off time for the heads to roll hey mashallah uh, i even got the ring brah right let's go so bda before get rid of unknowns derivative power rule answer with positive powers right now we're going to go right. Now we go on type number, type number one. Let's go. We do it in how many parts? Three parts. Let's go. Let's go. Game on. Right. So let's go. We're starting. You ready? Let's go. Type one. Example one. Watch here. I say y equals x squared minus 2x minus 8 over... Over x. Or let's make it root x. Let's be interesting. Let's make it cube root x. Right, let's go. Let's do it. Now in algebra, let's do the before part in, a, in your answer. Please, guys, do not go and write BDA on the side. Your teachers will write WTF. Uh, no, okay, sorry, no. I didn't mean that. I did it. Sorry, sorry. Maaf, maaf, maaf. Allah, maaf, wallah, maaf. Maf, maf. Uh, uh, I said, it's going to kill me. Right, the before part, it's in your brain, right? You're not writing B. Otherwise, I told your teachers, well, like, just 
Like I, I don't focus, know what this Mr. guy. Is. What the focus, fish? Mr. Right. What the fish? Focus. Focus. What the focus. fish? What the fish? Right. What the fish? Let's go. Right. So now in algebra, in algebra, Zahra, what do we do? We got three over one term, right? So type one is when it's all over one term. So what must we do to simplify? We say x squared over x to the power a third, right? Remember inside power divided by outside root. Minus 2x to the 1 over x to the power a third. Minus 8 over x to the power a third. We separate them, right? Now we simplify. Remember, we're not your derivative. Put your pens down. Don't write. The last part of understanding is writing. Watch it unpack. Watch the show. Get your popcorn. Watch them die. Right, let's undress them, right? Two minus a third. Remember, we simplify. Numerator's power minus your denominator's power. You want to use a calculator? Use a calculator. Don't want to? Up to you. Two minus a third. So two minus a third is five over three. This minus that is five over three. Minus two x. One minus a third. So three over three minus one over three is two over three. Minus eight. X to the plus a third must come up before we cut their heads off. Before we decapitate them. We put them in a straight line. Minus a third. There we go. We did the B part. They are in their simplest form. They are in their boxer shorts. Time for what? Decapitation, derivative, power rule, death, dy over dx. Here's it. The execution starts. What's it? The first slice. Power times coefficient gives me 5 over 3x. Ha! Is that where I stop? No. Make sure the head is off. Minus 1 from the power. Right. So two over, uh, 5 over 3 minus 1. 5 over 3 minus 3 over 3 is how much? 2 over 3. Positive times negative, negative. 2 times 2 is 4 over 3. X. 2 over 3 minus 1. 2 over 3 minus 3 over 3. Minus 1 over 3. Negative times negative, positive. 8 times a third or third times 8. 8 over 3. X to the power minus a third minus 1. Don't forget minus 1 is minus 4 over 3. Question. Is that my final answer? No. We did B. We did D. What must I do? The family must come see the body that's smiling. Positive powers, guys. So now we say is equal to 5 over 3. Ooh, that one is, is positive. So just wait. Four, 5 over 3. Here goes. Here goes. Here goes. X to the power 2 over 3. That stays. Minus 4 over 3. X to the minus a third will come down as X to the power plus a third. Plus 8 over 3. X to the minus 4 over 3 will come down as x to the power 4 over 3. Is that my final answer? Yes. The show's over. Five marks. You've differentiated it. We found the general gradient on that. That's type 1. We're going to do how many types did I say? Three or four. I'm going to show you in all the different styles. All of them we are applying BDA. All of them will be applying derivative when we slice. Hands are so fingers exercising. Huh? Mr. Coach, uh, I have left you a message in the in our chat bot. Okay. So just, okay. 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 You don't have to mention it, but you can just absorb and take good, that. Good. Good. Usa, let's go. Let's go. So that is type number one. That is type number one. Right, guys. How many of you got this one right? Let's see. Onlineers, how many of you got this one right? Ah, Lebohan. Ah, Lebohan. Repeat. Okay. Destiny. The first part is B. Before. We just simplified it. Can I put a tick there? Do you understand? Okay, now I'm talking to destiny directly, right? Destiny, you understood. We made it all over one, over one, over the same denominator, each part over the same denominator, and we just simplified it. Remember exponents, two minus a third is five over three, one minus a third is two over three, 
and then this comes to the top. All right, let's talk to destiny. Destiny, where I put the first tick. Did you understand? Let's get, are we getting destinies? Yes. Is yes, destiny coming it, in? It, it will come through, but you can okay. carry on in the meantime. Let's and carry on. Get for well, hopefully destiny. she understood that. Then let's yes. go to the next part. D, derivative, the power rule. Power times coefficient to get the new minus one from power. Power times coefficient minus one from power. Power times coefficient minus one. And that gives me that. So at the second tick, Destiny, do you understand that? Destiny there? Yes. So good, we'll good. wait for we'll wait for Destiny. We'll I wait for confirmation is, there. Yeah, she's probably processing this uh, problem. And we'll okay. probably have... Uh, and then we've got the power. last part. We just write it with positive powers. The after part, we write our answer with positive powers. That one's positive Destiny. in the place. That Destiny one there is, coming. is there. And that one comes there. Let's see. Has Destiny's okay. comment come in? Can we... It are we good to go? Yes, it is. Yes, it's positive. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here we thank go. You. That's Destiny's comment. Ah, there yes, we I go. Understand. Destiny M. Excellent. Let's go on to type two. Right, guys. Can I just mention something quickly? G which bye. is of benefit to all of us. Yeah, sure. And you don't have to call me bye. I think mm -hmm. you, you are my bye. Okay, learners, thank you so much for your cooperation. Um, look, let us keep the comment channel open now for questions uh, and feedback related to the current. Um, current problem that we're doing. I'm not going to fly flight your comments now if you want to shout out and so on. Let's keep that for lunchtime and let us also just get on nicely. Some of us want to do shout outs and some of us want to keep the channel open, right? So for the benefit of everyone, we will do as many shout outs as possible. We've got a lunch break coming up. So please, if we can just get along, uh, we will keep the channel and the comments uh, open for the lesson. Just give me a thumbs up if you're happy. Mr. Kota, the thanks, floor is yours. Thanks, my brother. Thanks, my brother. Let's go. So that was type number one. Let's go to type number two. So type number one is when we had one term. Here's type two or example number two. Right. Let's give it to you in terms of f of x. I tell you, the first one I gave it to you in terms of y. It doesn't make a difference. Y or f of x. It's a function. So I tell you, f of x is equal to, let's say, x squared minus 2x minus 8 over x minus 4. Find f dash x. Find f dash x. Right, let's all do this together. Question, answer. Right, guys, I'm not going to give you, you know what, if I have to keep on putting up a question and waiting for you guys to answer, we're not going to get through today's session. So I might as well just go through it with you. Right. What's the difference between the first type and the second type? The second type has got two terms in the denominator, right? So whenever you've got two terms in the denominator, you factor. To simplify, you factorize and cancel. Here goes. So let's go. Wait, don't write. Don't write. Follow. I'll give you a chance. I'll give you 60 seconds to take it down. But follow how it's done. Right. Watch. F of x is equal. Let's do the before part. Let's factorize that. So what, what's that? x minus 4, x plus 2 over x minus 4. I'm sure. Grade 12s, come on. You guys are sharp now. You know what I did. Now, x minus 4, x minus 4 cancels out. Right? What am I left with? x plus 2. Agreed? Now I find the derivative. Therefore, f dash x is equal to, we only got two terms here. 1 times 1 is 1. x to the power 1 minus 1 is 0. And the 2 will fall away. Yes or no? Won't the 2 fall away? So what is this? One. What is x to the 0? 1. So what's 1 times 1? And what's my final answer? 1. The derivative is 1. Right. Now, under type 2, let's give you a higher order question. So this is like basic. Guys, you might even see this. Although this is basic, you might even see this in your exam. It's taken from past papers. So what we want to do when we've got two terms, we want to factorize, cancel. We got it simple. Apply the power rule. Boom, we got our answer. Question. G. Do the other method 
Please can sir do the other method in first principle. I'm not understanding the question. Which other method in first principle? No, you can't do the first principle method here. Here you have to. They don't say by first principle. They say just find f dash x. You just got to find the derivative. They will never give you a scenario like this. If, okay. if they did, listen to me. If they did ask you for first, you'll still have to simplify to x plus 2. And if they did say by first principle, then all you'll do, you'll do the same thing here. Only here. Now you'll find f of x plus h, apply the formula and get your final answer of 1. Are you with me? So maybe that's just like worst case scenario. They give you first principles in a complex form. You simplify it, then apply your first principles last. Question? Yes. Feedback? The one where you solve it straight without separating the equation. No, 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 no. Just do it this way. We, we're doing here, the question just said find f dash x. Right? Find f dash x. So what you do when you get, just listen to me. What you do? Factorize the two. Factorize your numerator. Split it up. You're left with x plus 2. There we go. Now apply the derivative. I'm going to do the second example here for you. Let's see if you can do it. All right. Just wait. All right. So here goes. So now I tell you f of x is equal to x minus 1 over root x minus 1. All right. Find the derivative or differentiate. Find the derivative or differentiate. So now, what's the rule here, guys? We've got to factorize and cancel, am I right? So let me show you how it's done without wasting any time. So f of x is equal to, that is a difference of two squares. So that's going to be root x minus 1 into root x plus 1 over root x minus 1. Isn't root x times root x, x? Yes or no? So that's also a difference of two squares. Now that and that will cancel out. Now watch here. Watch here, watch here, watch here, watch here. So now I'm left with root x plus 1. Now what must I do? Remove that. So f of x is equal to x to the power a half plus 1. So therefore, f dash x is equal to. Let's apply the power rule. Half x, half minus 1, minus a half. The 1 will fall away. Am I right? This is equal to 1 over 2. Positive powers x to the power half. And that is your final answer. Game over. Good. Everybody okay with it? Grade 12s, are you ready? This, this was a higher order grade 12 differentiation. Question. Question. From Kanya. Kanya asks, sir, will, yeah. we, will we ever get a question involving the... The cubic function where we have to factorize, then find the derivative. That's the question. Repeat the question for me. Okay, let me flight it for you on the screen. Yeah. So I'll not covering get, up the right, answer. Right, there we go. go. So will we ever get a question involving the cubic function where we would have to factorize, then find the derivative? No. Well, in your no, no, we'll get to the cubic functions just now. I'm just doing differentiation now. Remember, we did first principles, we did derivative, we're doing differentiation. We're going to get to the cubic graph just now, right? And equations of tangents. Okay, there let's we go. get back That's to the program. the program. There we go. There we go. There we go. Remember, we only got now 35 minutes. Ne? Uh, just flight the program, uh, your, your times that you put again. 12.45. Okay, so solid. We still got an hour. Okay, bismillah. Let's go. Guys, we need to pick up the pace. Otherwise, we're not going to cover the work. Right. I'm clearing the frame. Let's do another example. What if I told you, now it's like this. Now they give it to you in this form. They tell you dx. It's just a form in which they give it to you, right? Instead of saying f of x or instead of saying y, they give it to you like this. They tell you dx. They tell you 2 over 3 times the cube root of x minus 4 over the square root of x plus 2 over x squared. 
differentiate. That's what the question says. Means find the derivative. Question, answer. Now, many of you, many of you, 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 you apply your own formats to a question like this, which you're not allowed to do. They will subtract marks. It's got to be done in an exact format. Yes, we're going to do BDA. Yes, we're going to simplify it. But there's a way in which we need to do it. So come, let's all do it together. Right, put your pens down. Right, let's all do it together. DX. We're still busy with the original. So this will become 2 over 3. This is x to the power 1 over 3 will come up to the top as x to the power minus 1 over 3. Agreed? Are you all with me? Isa? Good. Minus. This is 4 over x. Uh, this is x to the half. So there's the 4. x to the plus half will come up to the top as x to the power minus a half. Plus 2x plus 2 will come up to the top as minus 2. So there we go. We've simplified it. Now we apply the derivative. Now listen to me. Don't go and say d dx. Don't go and make your own formula. Now you say is equal to. The minute you say is equal to, you apply the power rule. Or you're telling the person who's marking that I'm now applying the power rule. So now let's apply the power rule, guys. So power times coefficient. Negative times positive is a negative. Th 2 times 1 is 2. Over 3 times 3 is 9. Remember, 2 over 3 times a third is 2 over 9. X minus a third minus 1 is minus 4 over 3. Right? Let's do the next one. Negative times negative is a positive. Half times 4 is 2. X minus a half minus 1 minus 3 over 2. Negative times positive, negative. 2 times 2, 4. X minus 2 minus 1 minus 3. Agreed? Power rule. Is that my final answer? I say is equal to, let's put this all with positive powers, minus 2 over 9, x to the power 4 over 3, plus 2 over x to the power 3 over 2, minus 4 over x cubed. Final answer, 4 marks here. Now let's give you a 6 mark question. Take this one now. You took it out. Why are you sharp, ne? Van the gevangers. Take this one, guys. Take this one. And I'm, I'm going to show you one more type that I came across in the past paper. Are we all good? How's our learners doing there? Question. The part of the power rule. Okay, so let's apply the power rule here. Right. Negative times negative is... Yeah, no. Yay. Did I make a mistake here? No. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Sorry. Here's it. Yeah, no, no. We here on the top where we're applying the derivative. Here's it. Negative times positive is a negative. A third times 2 over 3 is 2 over 9. And then we minus 1. A third minus 1 is minus 4 over 3. Negative times negative is a positive. A half times 4 is 2. X minus a half minus 1 minus 3 over 2. Negative times positive is a negative. 2 times 2 is 4. X minus 2 minus 1 minus 3. Now we apply. That's the power rule. Now we just wrote it with positive powers. The answer that we are just writing our answer with positive powers. Hope that answers your question. We're just applying the power rule, guys. Power times coefficient, minus 1 from power. Use your calculators if you want to. Right, last one. Let's see how sharp are you guys. Come on. I'll also give it to you in this form, dx, right? I'll give it to you in this form here, dx. So let's erase here. Clear frame. Clear frame. Everybody took it down. Make sure you got it. Guys here in class, everybody got it down. You're understanding, Nehana? Perfectly. Excellent. Right. Next one. They tell you dx. Take this one down, guys. They put this in brackets. They say 4 times the cube root of x minus 5 times the square root of x all squared. Differentiate for 6 marks.
Now, guys, I can be doing a hundreds, a hundreds of different examples, but we don't have all the time. So I'm just doing four of the most commonly, uh, commonly asked in terms of their style. Now, obviously, you guys are going to be working through your past papers after you've understood the work. Today is about you understanding it. And those of you who are practicing on it and you're getting full marks, well done. Thumbs up. Good for you. Otherwise, you're going to have to replay it and watch it over and over and over again until you get it. Then you start with your past papers. Then you see all the different styles. Please, guys, you guys need to work from at least 2016, 2017 past papers right through until 2021. Where are we? 2022. Yeah. I don't know what day it is, bro. Until you master it. And if you're mastering it today while we're doing it, this is enough to give you 60-70% in your exam. Amen. Right, so that's your question. Let's all do it together. Who's sharp? All right, I'll give you guys another minute. Remove the brackets inside. Remember, the what do you need to simplify here? You need to simplify that. But what's the catch here? The catch is that there's a squared sign there. Guys are working, guys are working, guys are working hard. How's our numbers coming in today? Um, what's the name? Yeah, the numbers is looking good. We've got a, currently about 1,500 learners, under 1,500 learners. Wow. Uh, that's on the session. So look, uh, that's like 1,500 on, on average, you know, learners, right. they join and they drop off. And if any of the learners are experiencing a, you know, the screen is a little bit blur on their side, right? Don't, don't be too concerned. You can always go back and watch it. I am going to post a link of our Facebook uh, stream. The Facebook stream seems to be a little bit clearer on my phone. So any of you having an issue... Uh, where you can't see uh, the screen is a little bit blur. It's because of the internet connection. So I'm going to post a link of that Facebook one. All right. So you in the comment section, the Facebook, use that and you can access it via our Facebook page. Same, same uh, program. So there we go. Mr. Kota, over to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Asanen. Let's go. Right. Our, our learners here in-house, in studio. They are our, our A students here. Our A students. Just to tell you, uh, you know, one of our students, Hassanayn, Alhamdulillah, I, can't, I won't mention names, but I mean, our Polakwani learner, he got for paper two, 99% for paper two, 96 wow. for paper one. Wow, wow, that's huge. And, I mean, and all using only our strategies. So guys, if you apply our strategies, you, you have to get 100%, man. Come on. Right, so let's start. DX. Right, pay attention. Pay attention. So this is still four x to the power third minus 5 x to the power half squared. We haven't yet simplified it. dx. Now, we square the first term. Remember, we're squaring a binomial. What are we doing? This is like a plus b all squared. What will you do there? You'll say a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Am I right? Yes or no? So let's square the first term. 4 squared is 16. x to the power. A third times two. Please, guys, put down your pens because I cannot afford to re-explain this question. It gets a bit rough in terms of complexity, but it's an easy question if you follow. Right, we're squaring the first term like this. A squared gives me A squared. So 4 squared, 16. X. A third times two. We're raising a power to a power. It's 2 over 3. Right. We square the second term to get the last term. Minus 5 squared is 25. x to the power, a half times 2 is 1. Right? One delay. Right. What must I do now to get the middle term here? i got to multiply these two and times it by 2. Am I right? So, minus 5 times 4 is minus 20. Times 2 is minus 40. x. We're multiplying and bases are the same. One delay. What do I do to the powers? When you multiply, add the powers. Good. A third plus a half is 5 over 6. 
Right. Got it right. Well done. Well done. Give her a clap on her back. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So let's go now. So that we simplified. So we squared the first term. We squared the second term. We multiplied the two and we times it by two to get that. Now we do the derivative. We're not yet with the derivative, guys. This is the before part. This is equal to. Right. Let's do the derivative, guys. Let's do it all together. 2 over 3 times 16. That 16 times 2 is 32 over 3 x. 2 over 3 minus 1 minus a third. Good. Positive times negative is a negative. 40 times 5 is 200 over 6 which is 100 over 3, right? Remember, 5 over 6 times 40 is 100 over 3, x. 5 over 6 minus 1 is minus 1 over 6. 1 times 25 is 25. x to the power 0 is 1. Now we write it with positive powers. 32 over 3, x to the power 3rd, minus 100 over 3, x to the power 1 over 6 at the bottom plus 25. There we go, guys. Got it right? Yeah! So we're done with that. So we're done with that. Okay, good. So what have we done? Let's just do a quick recap. Come on, before we... I know we're moving at a good speed. We have to. I'm finishing all bloody years working... Oh, okay, I can't use that word. <laughs> <laughs> we finished our own year's work in two days. So, guys, work with me. I know it's fast. It has to be fast. What schools do in one year, we are doing it in one day. So, listen. What did we do? First principles. Deriv that was using the formula. We did derivative, power rule. We did differentiation, PDA. Next topic. Equations of tangents to graphs. So right there. Equations of tangents to functions. You need to learn this concept. And this, guys, is six marks. So that means, how many marks have we got already here, Zahra? We got five marks for, we got five marks for first principles. We got three marks for derivative. We got six marks here. How much are we sitting with already? 14 out of 50. You know, in our exam, in our exam, we're sitting with 14 out of 50 already. Question. Right, good. Question. The 40. The second step, where did the 40 come from? You multiply the 2. 4 times 5 is 20 times 2. So you multiply it and you times it by 2. Like this. You multiply. A times B is AB. And you multiply it by 2. Remember, we've got to double the middle term. Remember in algebra, grade 8 algebra, when you remove a bracket, a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. So here's it, plus 2 times minus 5 times 4. So minus 5 times 4 is minus 20 times 2 gives me minus 40. Make sense? As answer your question. Thank you. Good, good. Let's go. Onlineers, are we getting a thumbs up so far? Are you understanding the work? Are you guys getting it right? And even if you got it wrong, and once you understood where you went wrong, it's like you're getting it right. Because what are you going to do after this? You're rewriting your own study guide, guys. You are rewriting today and tomorrow your own study guide. So I'm basically, I'm doing your homework for you. What you would have done to try and summarize all your notes, I'm doing it for you. All you have to do is learn. Memorize the technique. Memorize the templates. And apply. Let's go. Equations of tangents. Now, there are about three or four types here, guys. Let's start with the first, the most, the easiest one, the level one. So I'm going to take you level one, level two, level three. All right, let's start with the level one. This is what the question, how it will appear in the exam. If f of x, wait, just listen, don't write. Just understand the question. f of x is a function, right? If f of x is equal to a parabola. Give me any parabola. Come with say 5x squared 
minus 6x. Alright? 5x squared minus 6x. So there's a parabola. If f of x is equal to 5x squared minus 6x, find the equation of the tangent. 2f of x to the graph. Wait, don't write. At x equal minus 2. Right. So we're just making it up. But this is an exam style. Meaning, here's a parabola. At x equal minus 2, there's a tangent passing there. We want the equation of this tangent given by y equals mx plus c. Right. In our answer, what do we need? We need the coordinates. So we got x. We're short of y, am I right? We need x and y. So what do I do? Step number one, I say f of minus 2 is equal to 5 into minus 2 squared minus 6 into minus 2. Why? Because I got x minus 2. I'm short of the y value. So let's do it. That's why I'm putting f of minus 2. It gets plugged. Plug and play. We're plugging it straight, substituting it into the original. So now, what is that? Minus 2 squared is 4 times 5 is 20 plus 12. Yes or no? Which is equal to how much? 32. So that means now, yay, I got my first step. I got my coordinates. That means the point where they meet is minus 2 and 32. Do you agree? Don't write. Don't write. Don't write. You need to understand this. Right. So there we go. We got X and Y. If they gave you X and Y from the start, you wouldn't need to do this. Right. Grade 11s, are you following? Right. Uh, sorry, man. I'm still assuming that you're grade 11. So you're all the same. Right. So let's go. Now we need the gradient. So we got a point. When we got y is equal to mx plus c, what do we need? We need a gradient and a point. I got a point. What am I short of? Do I have a gradient? No. Can I find the gradient? Yes. I can use derivative to find the general gradient. So now I do step number two. I say f dash x. Y, Hannah? To find the general gradient. So the general gradient is now going to be power rule. 2 times 5 is how much? 10x minus 6. Yes or no? Hannah? Now we want the m of, the, of y is equal to mx plus c. We want m. So we want the specific gradient. Right. So now we say f dash. We got the x2. That's the m. Is equal to 10 into minus 2 minus 6. Minus 20, minus 6, minus 26. Yay! I got the specific gradient and I got a point. Can't I get y is equal to mx plus c? So now I go. So wait, wait, wait. So this was step number one. That was step number two. That was step number three. Step number four, I go y minus y1 equals m into x minus x1. You know the formula from analytics to find... So when a point and a gradient is given, you use this. So here's the point. Here's the point. Y minus 32. What's M? Minus 26 into X minus minus 2. Plus 2. So Y minus 32. Remove the brackets here. Minus 26X minus 52. Ne? 26 times 2. Isn't 26 times 2 52? Yes. So your final answer. Y is equal to. Now we want it. Y is equal to MX plus C. Minus 26x minus 52 plus 32. Minus 20. Boom. Four steps. Agreed? Onliners, how are we doing? This was type one. This is type one. Oh, maybe this mic was too close to. Okay. Is that better, Hassan? It is good. We can hear you. Okay. So, Mr. Kota, we're we getting go. close to getting close to our lunch break, eh? No, we still got half an hour. We're going in at yeah. Uh, yeah, we two. got Yeah, quarter two. Two minutes, yeah. So just yeah. to let learners know that look, some of our learners are feeling a little bit fatigued. Uh, yeah. Just bear in mind, essentials. We don't drink that beverages Mr. Kota has. Otherwise, we'll get ahead of ourselves. Very important, if possible, if you can get some water 
drink some water, hydrate, and uh, I think you'll be fine. You'll get through it. Over to I've you, Mr. Re, I've got some rehydrate here. <laughs> there we go. Fantastic. So water is, water is very important when we are doing mathematics. So we can learn. Brain and food. The brain, yeah, no, the brain just to calm down the, the levels, you know, the heat temperature. Over to you, Mr. Kota. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Right, you guys got it down. One, two, three, four. So this is type number one. This is the forward, guys. This is the forward. The forward is we ask for the equation of the tangent. Now, what's the reverse? If the equation of the tangent is given and you need to find the original parabola, am I right? So let's do the reverse. Remember in maths, guys, you need to do forward and reverse. Everything in forward, everything in reverse. Question. Then you know. Yes. Question. Step four. Where's step four? That's y is equal to mx plus c. This formula. Have you guys never seen this formula in school? Y minus y1. When you're given a point and the gradient, you just sub it in and you get it in the form y equals mx plus c. Or if you still want to use y is equal to mx plus c like your teacher show you in school, no problem. I'm just using the formula from analytics. So y minus y1. So here's it. x1, y1. So y minus y1, y minus 32 is equal to m minus 26 from there. x minus minus 2 is plus 2. Remove the brackets and bring it in the form y is equal to mx plus c. Are we okay, guys? Did that answer your question? Yes. Good, good, good. Right, let's do type 2. Now, watch this one. Very popular, guys. Very popular. If f of x is equal to... Let's see. Um, Ax squared plus bx minus 5 has a tangent. Now, they're giving you the equation of the tangent. Given by y equals 2x minus 6 at x equal minus 1. Find a and b. Find the values of a and b for 6 marks. So what are they giving us now? Right, guys, we're into the heat. We're into the depth. We're swimming with sharks now. We're not just surfing at the shore. Right, Alia? Alia, what does this question mean, Alia? Alia, this question means that you are given a parabola and they gave you a tangent and they gave you a point. You need to find the equation. Now we're working backwards to find the equation of the parabola. Right, Isa? You following? You're still online? You haven't DC'd yet? What is DC? Disconnect, brah. I know that you don't. And I'm not even a millennial. Yeah, but you see, Mr. K, it's all about the street you grid. What I think you? you've been blessed. You are? Oh, you Gen he's a, Z. He's a, oh, are we millennial. Are we millennials? No, not us. That's the 90s or the 20s from the 2000s till about 20. And what are you now? Yeah, a Gen Z. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm learning here, bro. And you, Mr. K? Are you a vegetarian? No, no, no. I'm a dinosaur, bro. I'm ah. a freaking... I was in a time of freaking... Fr uh, fr uh, Fred Flintstone, bro. No, no. And Mem Collins... Oh, God. Mem, I think... Uh, Mem Collins was a daughter of Adam and Eve. <laughs> Mem is about 7,400 years old. Mem, I'm not so far. I'm about 740 years after you. I'm not bad, ma'am. Dinosaur, bro. Okay, back at the ranch. My ID book is written in Roman numerals. That's how old am I. I used to play marbles with Jesus. Okay, no, I'm, I, let's not go there. Let's hey, not even go there. Okay, all right, okay, we go. No, no, no. Oh, wait, bad. bad. Red right, card. Knuckle. Red card. Red card. Red card. Okay. okay, right. We're going to okay. put you off. No, no bless you, Miss. Um, right, let's go. In. No, no, no. No, nothing. Nothing. Answer. Right, guys. Now, come on. We know at a point where two graphs touch each other, 
we know that this function is equal to that function at that point. Yes or no? But we also know that the gradient is equal to the gradient at that point. So simultaneous equations, function equal function, gradient equal gradient. And I'm giving you a template, copy and paste. So wait, don't write. Don't write. Let's do it together. Function equal function. AX squared plus BX minus 5 is equal to 2X minus 6. That's function equal function. Let's do gradient. What is the gradient of F? Now watch, please, guys. What is the, this? Is, that means G dash X is equal to the M of this graph. What's G dash? Power rule, guys. Please don't ask me how did I find G dash. You in grade 12, you're writing prelims in two weeks' time. You can't be asking me what's a power rule. What's G dash? Right. 2 times A. So power rule. 2AX plus B. The X falls away. The 5 falls away. Is equal to the M of your other graph. How much? 2. It's not equal to 0. It's not minimum or maximum. It's at a point. At where? At X equal minus 1. So now... We got x is minus 1. So watch. Let's work it. Guys, now do me a favor. Please don't ask me to repeat. I'm just doing basic algebra. I'm doing grade 7 algebra where I'm substituting. So let's go now and put in minus 1 in here. So a into minus 1 squared plus b into minus 1 minus 5 equals 2 into minus 1 minus 6. Guys, if you don't understand this step here, just drop out of school. Really? Right, minus 1 squared is 1a. So that's a minus b minus 5 is equal to minus 2 minus 6. a minus b is equal to minus 2 minus 6 minus 8 plus 5 minus 3. That's equation number 1. Right, one delay? Re yes, manier. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, on this side, 2a. Minus 1 plus B equals 2. Minus 2A plus B equals 2. So I'm going to put that's equation number 2. Um, I'm going to put minus 2A plus B equals 2. We're going to solve simultaneous. So we're going to add the 2, right? So minus B plus B will cancel out. Plus A minus 2A is minus A equals minus 3 plus 2. Minus 1. A is equal to 1. There we go. We found A. So now what do we have? We got A minus B is equal to minus 3. A minus B equals minus 3. We got A. A is 1. 1 minus B is equal to minus 3. Minus B is equal to minus 3 minus 1. Minus 4. B is equal to 4. Boom. 6 marks. Agreed? This was step 2. The reverse. We are just putting the car in reverse. I'll give you one more type that I came across in the past paper where they talk about local minimum, local maximum. Question. Learn. Let's see. Question. Let's go back. Mr. StreamYard. Can you use the reverse derivative step? No. No. Look, you're not going to be using the reverse derivative step. Don't. Right? Do it. Remember something. You're going to use integration. Some of you are like higher order guys. Uh, you guys do um, the chain rule, the power rule. You guys use, you guys do, what's that? AP maths. Don't. Just stick to your normal caps. Okay. Let's go. So this was type two. So while you guys are taking down, while you are, uh, those of you, we waiting for those to take down type two. Let's go on to type three, guys. Let's go on to type three. Let's talk about local minimum, local maximum before we go into the cubic graph. Right. So here's type three, the last type or oh, example three. Put there, EG three, example three. Right. Take this question down. The function f of x equals ax cubed plus bx squared. 
mm, minus 8 has a local minimum or maximum at the point P minus 2 and 12. Find A and B for 6 marks. Now remember guys, we're doing a little bit of higher order questions, but we're also doing basic to intermediate also, right? Because we don't, I don't know at what level is everybody. As the name, if you're ready for next weekend, you want to do higher order next weekend, only higher order. <laughs> if the guys are ready. Sure. We give them math on steroids. <laughs> Crystal math. M8, A, M A G H. <laughs> I give up, Mr. Kota. I said I ended my resignation. No. I've had it now. <laughs> no, I'm I gonna meant put the off now. I'm gonna end the stream I, I, now. I, I, I meant I meant math. They see math crystal clear, so crystal math. Ah. You're a funny guy. Shukran. I think we should keep you. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, you have to have fun doing maths, brah. If you're not having fun. You know, I got some weird acronyms, right? But unfortunately, I cannot share it with you people on air. I'll be fired. Yes, that's for sure. Yeah, those acronyms I keep for myself. And I just laugh to myself when I do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'm driving. You're you know? you loco. You're loco. No. Who are you trying to get crazy with this, eh? Don't you know I'm loco? <laughs> you loco, eh? I'm loco, puto. Like Louis Armstrong, play the trumpeter, hit that bomb and hit your something. So I got to get that cross. Because these kids, wanna... you guys never listened to Cypress Hill in your life. Cypress Insane Hill, Insane in the membrane. Insane. Got that brain. Cypress Hill. Let me it's before your time, things. it's before your time, but here's one line from Cypress Hill. So yeah. you want to be a rock superstar, live large in a big house. That's you, Mr. Mr. Coulter. You a Mets rock superstar. Like to the Louis list. Armstrong, play the trump. Yeah. Uh, don't let me rap. I told you I'll rap for you in Afrikaans also. No, 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 no. Don't go no, no. there. Okay, don't let's go not there. do it. We don't no, speak not... that language in Cape Town. Okay. Okay. I, I'm itching to, I'm itching to. Okay, no, I won't. Right, let's go. The function has a local. Now, remember something, guys. Okay, here's your cardinal rule, right? Minimum or maximum? For minimum or maximum, derivative is always equal to zero. Make a note of that. For local minimum or maximum, your derivative is always equal to zero. Why? You know, on your cubic graph, that's your maximum, that's your minimum. At your turning point, your derivative is zero. It's a straight line. And a straight line got no gradient. Agreed? Right, now watch. Watch what we do. Guys, 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 put down your pens. I'm going to give you a Picasso template. You know, it's a Picasso template. A work of art. Question. Yes. Yes. Ah, sufficient. yo, bra, you mean you can't understand A and all right, okay, let's go. The function, let's go. The function ax cubed plus bx squared minus 8 has a local min, minimum or maximum at p minus 2 and 12. Find A and B. Right, let's go. So now we need, listen to me, guys, we need a function function equation that's function guys and then we need a gradient equation so what's your function equation you substitute direct am i right so watch here we put that for x and we put that for y so what do i have i got 12 is equal to a into what's x minus 2 cubed plus b into minus 2 squared minus 8 can you all read that Right. right, so 12, 12 equals a into minus 8. That's 4 times b is 4b minus 8. So we got 12 is equal to minus 8a plus 4b minus 8. 
So now we got minus 8a plus 4b is equal to 12 plus 8 is 20. Let's divide everything here. Let's divide everything here by minus 4. So 8 over negative and negative will cancel. 8 over, I'm just dividing everything by negative 4. So whatever I get, I get 2a plus b is equal to, we're dividing it now by negative 4. Uh, sorry, that's the division sign. Dividing it by negative 4. So negative divided by negative is a positive. Positive divided by negative is a negative. Let's go back. That's minus. 4 and 4 will cancel. Positive divided by negative is a negative. 20 divided by 4 is 5. And I'm going to call that one equation number 1. Yes or no? Good. Now for your local maximum, local minimum or maximum, what do we know? Minimum or maximum, your derivative, that's min, M-I-N. Min or max is equal to 0. Right. So let's go. Derivative equals 0, guys. Derivative equals 0. What's your derivative? 3ax squared plus 2bx. The 8 will fall away. Is equal to 0. Why? For minimum or maximum. And we've got the x. What's the x, guys? Negative 2, ne? 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 That's lekker, ya. Yo, Mr. K. Say, it's most next lekker, my bro. Right, that's 4 times 3, 12a minus 4b equals 0. That's equation number 2. Let's see, what are we going to do? I'm going to say here, watch here what I do now. I'm going to do it by substitution, right? I'm going to say minus b is equal to minus 2a minus 5. So b is equal to 2a plus 5. We divide by negative. So now I'm going to plug this into here. So 12a minus 4. What is b? 2a plus 5 is equal to 0. 12a minus 8a minus 20 equals 0. 12 minus 8? 4a minus 20 equals 0. 4a equals 20. a equals 5. Done. So we got a. Now we need b. B, e, B is 2A plus 5. You can do that on your own. Let's do it here on the top. I'm moving here because I don't have space. B equals 2A plus 5. B equals 2. What did we get A to be? 5 plus 5. B is equal to 10 plus 5 is how much? 15. There's your answer. A is equal to 5. B is equal to 15. You should know this by now. And there we go. We end. We are done with this. So what did we do, guys? We did first principles. We did derivative. We did differentiation. We did all the types of differentiation. We also did all the types of equations of tangents or dealing with local questions dealing with tangents to functions. Right, guys. Let's now start with the cubic graph. Let's start with the cubic graph. So we got 15 minutes before break. We got 15 minutes before break. And then we got another 30-minute break between quarter to 12 and quarter past 1. We're definitely not going to finish all the topics, right? In fact, I'll do functions. I'll, we'll, we'll continue with calculus and finish functions till the end. Then probably I'm going to have to do finance and probability with you guys tomorrow, tomorrow morning before we even start with the... So, yeah, there's a bit of a shift in program, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll do as much as we can. Okay. So, we're done with this. Let's go on to the cubic graph. Put the heading, the cubic graph. Okay, guys, do you all know how to sketch the cubic graph? No. One delay? You don't. All right. So, let's start the cubic graph. Guys, can I clear the screen? Can I clear the frame? Do I get a, a green light? From any of the learners, come guys, onlineers, talk to me. Just type in yes, carry on, clear frame. We're all good. Give me the thumbs up. I know it's a lot to write. All clear. Thanks, Riyabetswe. 
Movies. Oh, is that your nickname? I hope that's not your first name. <laughs> I, I, I swear, a couple of years ago, I was in, in, in Cape Town. The guy's name, the petrol attendant, his name was Computer. I, I swear, I swear, <laughs> I, I swear. The old <laughs> <is computer. laughs> uh, there's a guy in Polokwani. There's a guy in Polokwani, the security guard there. Yo, his name is Remember. I told him I'll never forget. <laughs> I swear his name is Remember. Now, Mr. Kouter, that's a very dry joke. It's well, in like these are dead jokes, bro. I mean, I have dinosaurs, man. Leave me, man. Let me just enjoy myself, man, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I crack myself up, man. Serious. I crack myself. Because I'm, I'm the funniest old to myself, you know. You're a child I'm with special hilarious. needs. Special needs. Special needs. Let's go. Right, let's go. F of X now. Come on. Guys, it's only my beard that likes. I'm only 45, guys. I'm only 45. Well, I know I look 60 with my with my beard. But it's fine. Let's go. The cubic graph. The cubic graph. Now, with the cubic graph, what do we need? Gauze. Hey, gauze. What do we need? Chana. I'm a chana. What do we need? So, you know, the cubic graph is going to go like that. Right. So, we need x we need a y intercept so we need a y intercept we need x intercepts we need two turning points right turning point there turning point there tps guys int for those of you who don't understand my handwriting this is y int for intercepts x int for intercepts tps for turning points we also call them sps Stationary points. And then we need what we call the point of inflection. The POI. So that's what I need to sketch the graph. Right, let's sketch. So let's give you a graph. Let's say f of x is equal to come. This is a very popular one. That's why I know it by memory, right? x cubed plus x squared minus 5x plus 3. Sketch. Now remember, we're going to sketch and we're going to find equations. Right, in order to sketch the graph to get the y-intercept, we say let x equal to 0. Let x equal to 0. So that means i is equal to 0, 0, 0. What am I left with? 3. Now, come on, grade 11s and 12s. You guys have done the factor and remainder theorem. I don't need to teach you the factor and remainder theorem now. All right. So now we're going to try to get our x intercepts. We're going to try f of 1. Let's try f of 1. We must get 0 as a remainder. We're going to try 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2. We must get 0 as a remainder. So we're going to do it by trial and error. So it works. 1 cubed plus 1 squared minus 5 into 1 plus 3. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 3 is 5. Minus 5 is 0. We must get 0 as a remainder. Therefore, x minus 1 is your first factor. Is your first factor. So that's step number 1. That's step number 2. Step number three. We still haven't factorized this. We only got our first factor. We now need to divide this into the whole thing. So watch, girls, put on your pens. So we're going to do what we call synthetic division. So we take this one, we put it outside, and we put all our coefficients, 1, 1, minus 5, 3. 1, 1, minus 5, and 3. Let's do this in a different color so you know which one represents what. That's f of 1. So that 1 comes there. I'm dividing that into all my coefficients. 1, 1, minus 5, and 3. Right. We pick up this one from inside. That 1 comes up. Now, when we come across, we multiply. Whatever answer I get, I add to the next term. And we keep on repeating. So we multiply and we add. We multiply and we add. We multiply. You don't do long division. This is shortcut synthetic division. So let's do it again. Right. Follow me. Put your pens down. 
Where did this one come from here outside? Where did that one come from? From there. Right. Where did all these inside the brackets come from? Your original. Power 3, power 2, power 1. They must, it must be in descending powers. Power 3, power 2, power 1. If there was no power 2, you'll put a 0. Now, we multiply. What do we do? We multiply when we come across. So I'm going to come across. I'm going to multiply. Whatever answer I get, I'm going to add to the next term. So multiply and add. So let's go. Let's do it together. Come, my grade ones. One times one is? One plus one is? Let's repeat. Two times one is? Two minus five is? Negative three. Minus three times one is? Minus three plus three is? You must get zero at the back. Here's your quotient on the top. That's your trinomial. One X squared plus two X minus three. Agreed? One delay is equal to zero. We factorize that equal to zero. X, X, three, one plus minus x is equal to minus 3 or x is equal to 1 and we also got x is equal to 1 there right so there are our x intercepts so i'm done with the y intercept i'm done with the x intercepts we now need to get our turning points those of you who want to continue please go ahead be my guest get your turning points get your point of inflection sketch your graph we got four minutes left before break. So I want to finish this. Let's finish this one up before break. So I'll give you a minute to take it down. A minute to win it. <laughs> How are you there? How's your energy levels there, Hassan? Eh? On that side. Excellent. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. You know, I'm a comrades runner. I normally partake in the comrades marathon where we have to run 89 kilometers. Yes, so I'm yes. all for the distance, you know. You all for the, for distance. the distance. That yes. is that's I need the to have enough energy for the distance. We still have a long stretch to go, guys. Long stretch. So we've we're pacing ourselves. We are pacing ourselves. So good. That was your question. Let's just quickly go through this. That was your question. Step number one, let x equal to zero. Step number two, the factor and remainder theorem. Step number three, synthetic division. Learn this, guys. Learn. All right. So we're done with that. We're done with that. Let's get our turning points. Can I clear the frame? Do I get a green light from my onliners? Let's Any check. thumbs up there? Check there for me, Hassanain. Yes, certainly. Feed me, hit me. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think feed me is definitely the theme right now because <laughs> we everybody's are all starving. Yeah, I know. Right, I'm clearing the frame, guys. I'm about to be clearing it in three, two, one. Let's go. Right. I'm just going to rewrite the question again because we're clearing the screen. Right. So the original Mr. question Kota, was... Just remind the learners to take a photo. Right? Where? Which no, learners? I'm saying for yeah. the solution, some of the solution. Yes, they must take somehow... the photo. They must just take a... We say snaps. You must take a snap, right? We, we... Yeah. So From some the of the learners... Age, we say snaps. Take a yeah, snap, guys. Of... Take pictures. Take a... Take a snap if you have someone with you, your brother's phone, your sister's phone, your mother's phone. Take a snap that's going to help you. So you're not under pressure to take down that solution. To take down the, the solution. Correct. Correct. So it, does, it saves us time also because we've got so much to cover. I don't mind sitting with you guys till 8 o'clock tonight. I'll push. Are you guys ready? Okay, Mr. Kota, the floor is yours. Right. F dash X. We are now finding the turning points. So that's its way we use derivative, right? So now power rule. Power rule, Hannah. 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. For minimum or maximum, derivative is equal to 0. 
So now we're going to get two X intercepts. Guys, you need to know how to factorize three X and X, five and one. That will be plus, that will be minus. X will equal to minus five over three, or X is equal to one. Guys, you don't need me to teach you this. So we got our two X values of the turning point, Hannah. Minus five over three, and we got one. What am I short of, Hannah? I got my two X values of the turning point. The Y values of the turning point. How do I find that? Good. And you're doing it for the first time. You're such a star. Disaster. And I'm like, I'm like, from here, you plug it back into original. Don't put it back into here because then it's a root. You'll get zero. So F of minus five over three is equal to, ah, very nice. Very nice. You did that, ne? You went to go and plug it back into, no, you must go back into original. You're going to get 9,48. And then when you put F of 1 back into original, into original, here's it, I'm going to write it down for you, into original, F of 1 is 0. <sighs> We're almost there. We're almost there. One more. Point of inflection. Now we're going to find our point of inflection. And this is the... Now, you know what is the point of inflection, Anna? It means where the graph is going to change from concave down to concave up or from concave up to concave down. The point of inflection is also called the point of acceleration. And that's the only time we use second derivative. And what is second derivative? First derivative is, you know, the power rule. So second derivative will be the power rule of the power rule. The derivative of the derivative. So, okay, watch here. What's your derivative? F dash x, watch here, Hannah. F dash x is equal to, what's your derivative? 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. So F double dash x is equal to F double dash x. Now find the derivative of your derivative. 6x plus 2. Agree? Agree? Equal to 0. 6x is equal to minus 2. x is equal to minus 2 over 6 minus a third. Now you take this again and plug into original. And you're going to get 4,74. And there we go. All our calculations are done. 12, 10 marks now. 10 marks there for you already. All that calculation. 10 marks. Now sketch. Now we just apply what we've calculated and Bob's your auntie. <laughs> it's, a, it's a new world. <laughs> you, could have fooled, you could have fooled me, Mr. K. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's going to bounce. Very good. Jump up, jump up, jump around. It's going to bounce. Right, let's do it. Sketch your graph. Let's see. Sketch your graph. Sure. It's already quarter to one. I can't believe time flies when you're having fun, guys. How many of you can push till six o'clock tonight? Come, let's see. How many of you got the, the wit? How many of you got the resilience? Now, check my English out now, my bro. How many of you got the... The, <laughs> ah, the, exactly. the resistance, the resilience, <laughs> the determination, the valor, the ma'am, 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 give me more synonyms. Huh? And ha, huh? yo, I learned a new word, guys. How many of you got the new? <laughs> it's French. Parlez vous français? Are we? Bonjour. Are you got a wee wee, Mr. Kauta? It's almost yeah, lunchtime. Big wee, uh, can, uh, uh, hey, let's not go there. You no, can please. make a door salah and you can have your wee wee yeah, after don't that. Don't worry. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I'm going now now. I've drank two gallons of water already, brah. Okay. So are we ready to see? sketch the graph, just, Mr. Kauta? Yeah, we're ready to sketch the graph. Did you see how astronauts wee on a plane? Man, it like floats all around them. They like grab it and have to... <laughs> Serious. Hey, Zero Mr. gravity. Kauta, we are okay, let's go. We are hungry. So let okay. us sketch the graph. <laughs> let's, sketch the graph. let's sketch the graph. Hey, the man says, me, bro. 
Cabel tu, cabal tu, pa di perta di stal tu. <laughs> Ooh, eh, eh. Yeah, eh. The why, the why. Ooh, eh, Wala, eh. I'm like this every day, every minute of the day, every second of the day. I, dra- I drive my wife mad. My condolences. Awesome. The lady deserves an award or something of some we'll sort. Just send her a message there, Inna Lilai. Right, there we go. That's three. What is the X intercept? One and zero. The other X intercept is minus three and zero. I was ca- carrying on like a crazy Scotsman at one o'clock. This I couldn't sleep because of today's workshop. And I was going right. And she said, I want to freaking sleep, bruh. I've got to wake up early and make your breath. I said, right. Uh, that's why. Okay, so we got minus three. And and my turning point here, guys, was one and zero. And um, my other turning point was minus five over three. So minus five over three is minus one comma six 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 minus one comma six seven minus one comma six. That's your other turning point. Put a dotted line through your turning point, your x value of your turning point. And nine comma four eight. So that was your minus five over three. Nine comma four eight. That is three. That is one and zero. And it's a positive graph. X cubed is positive. X cubed, A X cubed. A is greater than zero, so it goes from the bottom up. If A was less than zero, then it would go from the top down. Right? Hannah? Hannah? Montana? Let's do it. Let's go. Watch here. And listen to me carefully. Increasing, 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 increasing. Stop. Stationary. Decreasing, 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 decreasing. Cut. Decreasing. Whoa, that's a bad graph. Uh uh-uh, come on, man. Astachs. <laughs> you know, astachs. <laughs> My bad. I must take your fault. Come down. And we turn there. It's supposed to cut, but it's also a turning point. So it bounces. And it continues. All cubic graphs have two turning points. Because the same x-intercept is our same turning point, Hannah. So it doesn't cut through there and go. It bounces and it turns. And what was our point? Guys, you must show your point of inflection. Minus a third and 4,74. That's your point of inflection. Minus, uh, minus a third and then 4,74. That was your POI, your point of inflection. That's your y-axis, guys. Right, guys? You are now going to go and have lunch. Okay, we're going to give you guys an extra five minutes because I went five minutes over time. I'll see you guys back in at 20 past one. So guys, enjoy your break. Go make your salah. Go to the toilet. Go make your wee-wee. <laughs> peace up, kare. Hey, peace up, kare. When we jawana. I've got nothing in the tank. Nothing in the tank. Your tank is empty. Yeah, no, definitely. Okay, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the session. We did a hell of a lot of work. Much more to come, guys. Inshallah, if God wills. After break, 20 past 1. See you back in studio. Enjoy your break, guys. Assalamu alaikum. Goodbye. Totsins. Saubona. No. Tumelang. No. What do you say? Amagatle. So participants, we've had lots of uh, feedback from you via comment section, but also would love to...
to have some of your feedback in terms of your photos, especially some of the learners that are logging on at schools. If you are in the classroom, try and get a photo through to us. And you can um, you can tag us in our social media. You can tag us on Instagram at Okaf Essay, Twitter at Okaf Essay. You can post that photo and tag us in. You can post it on Facebook at Okaf South Africa. What you can also do is, uh, if it's going to be easier for you, what you can do is you can send us those pictures to that email address. And then what we will do is we will flight that on screen uh, during today and tomorrow. So we need to know how you guys are linking on. If there's a photo of you, a few friends that you guys are linking on, or a few learners um, in a classroom at school, teachers, kindly do send us some of the photos. So we can send that through to our CEO and the Department of Education just to let them know um, how you guys are logging on. And if you guys are having fun, do let us know. Uh, we're really enjoying ourselves here, uh, having the session jointly with you. So we will be resuming at quarter past one. Um, so have a lunch break, replenish yourself, and then we'll see you at quarter past one. Thank you.
Welcome back, learners. I hope that you are feeding yourself, you are hydrated yourself. We really are very appreciate, uh, appreciative, myself and Mr. Kota. Um, you're really a very enthusiastic bunch of, of learners. You've been very positive. You've been willing to learn, you're willing to participate, very interactive, and you're definitely adding a lot of value in terms of the program. So from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate you being here today and also just coming with your A-game. Very appreciative and you guys are definitely on course. We'd really love to have some of your feedback uh, in terms of photos if you are in a classroom environment, if you are a teacher and you have some uh, classroom, kindly do send us um, the, some of the photos by email. I will provide the email because the, our oxygen is your feedback, right? Uh, in terms of you enjoying it, uh, let us see the scenario where you are sitting in your, in your lounge, in your classroom. Uh, are you a teacher? Let us know. Send us some of that um, uh, photos. So thank you once again. You're really a superb um, uh, cohort of learners that join us for this workshop. Mr. Kota, you, you are replenished. You're looking sharp. Brand new. Ah, okay. I know Ready? what program to you, Mr. Kota, without delay. So you can also... Jazakallah, say... Jazakallah. Thank you so much. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you guys are all revived and you guys are all fired up. Hassanain, I'm going to request that today we... Can we push till 3 o'clock, Hassanain? Or is that too long? Can we push uh, look, till 3? I, I, definitely, I definitely want to push on to 3 o'clock. I tell you why. Let's hear uh, about the learners. from the. I know from my side here, my learners in-house say all gave me the thumbs up. I hope everybody else can give me because we've got lots of exciting stuff that I need to show them. And I'm hoping to finish it off at 3 o'clock today. And I said, then I'm going to ask for 4 o'clock tomorrow. And we've got the thumbs up here. <laughs> I know we're pushing now it. Now you're pushing it now, eh? I know we're now pushing, you're pushing it. it. But tomorrow. And guys, I want to start at 8.30 tomorrow, man. Come on. Can we start at half past eight? Today was just the initiation. Today was like everybody getting to know who Mr. K is, who Okaf is, all the formalities. Oh, even four is five. You heard that? No, 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 no. Now you're pushing it. Now you're no, pushing okay. it. Oh, we do three today. We do 3 yeah, yeah. p.m. today. We yes. do 4 p.m. tomorrow, but we kick yes. start at 8.30 tomorrow morning. Can no, we But we that? can't change that. No, we can't. Oh, we, we can't. can't. The bus we is can't the because... Okay, so we start. No, no, it's not, it's not that. You must bear in mind, we've got a very sophisticated learner learners that's logging on. So yeah. we've created that expectation for 9 o'clock, right? Okay. So we have and to it's be It's a Sunday fair. morning, and they don't want we to get up to early. Fair. We have to be Okay, fair. we start at 9, but we finish off at 4 tomorrow. We're good, right? I will, I will let you know in the morning. I'll let you okay. know in the morning. Let's hear what the feedback right. is, right? You collect all the yes. feedback. Let's get started. Right, Bismillah. No problem. So we know how Go to sketch. It. Now we're going on to find very important now is how to find equations. Hundred. I think, what I think is that you guys are going to get this in the exam. Prelim or final. Now remember, this is, I'm condensing it. So I can only do selected examples. You guys have to go and work through past papers as well. We are going to be doing a higher order. The same lot. We're going to see you guys again later on in the year. Where then I'm going to be doing one with ones with cryptic clues. And how to sketch those type of graphs. But in any case, let's get started. Right. So take this graph down now, guys. This is type 1. This is type 1. And it's very... Um, type 1 would look like that. And... Let's say they give you that point there as 3, that point as 1, that point there is minus 4. They call that graph F, and they say that F of X is equal to X cubed plus AX squared plus BX plus C. Find A, B, and C. That's the question in the exam that's given to you. Now, notice, I'm going to write in red what is the uniqueness of this. There are three types. So this is type 1. This is type 1 of 3. And type 1 is when only 3 x-intercepts are given. Now pay attention. No other point is given. So we can assume that the coefficient of x cubed is 1. Like in functions, right? So all we're going to do now, we're going to say y equals x minus x1, like a parabola, x minus x2, 
x minus x3. You don't need to put an a in the front. Why? Because no other point is given. That would be type 2. We're getting to that. So let's all do this one together. Guys, please, I cannot be wasting time on this. This is easy. x plus 4 minus minus 4 is plus 4. x minus 1, x minus 3. So now y is equal to, let's expand that, x plus 4. Let's expand this. I'm foiling. I'm going to foil this first outer inner last. So that's x squared minus 1 minus 3 minus 4x plus 3. Come on, we are grade 12s now. We are already. So f of x, your final answer. Okay, let's multiply this out. The first times all, the second times all, and collect your like terms. x times x squared. This is just the algebra. x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x. Come on, guys. I can't go slower than what I'm going in terms of this. We're just multiplying. This is just the algebra part of it. Minus 4x squared plus 4x squared gives me 0. Minus 3 plus 30, minus 16 is minus 13x plus 12. So what's your a value? a is coefficient of x squared. So a equals 0. Huh? Where? Plus 12, sorry. What is b? Your coefficient of x minus 13. What is c? c is equal to 12. No, a is not equal to 1. a is your coefficient of x squared. There's no x squared there. Unless it was ax squared plus bx, ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. a is 0 here. Because a is your coefficient of x squared, not your coefficient of x cubed. Your co coefficient of x cubed here is 1. That's why it's a positive graph. Because a is, uh, in fact, that coefficient, it's a positive graph. We're also going to do graph analysis. Where is it increasing, decreasing? Concave up, concave down. I hope you took that down. Got it, learners? In-house? Onliners? Take a pick. I need to move on. We are racing against time. We are Mr. racing. Coach, we learned about something. Yes. That some of the learners, yeah. you must make sure that you got skills. And also with your smartphone, you install this screen capture app. Yeah. So you can have a screen capture of this, your screen if you are linking up via your smartphone. The okay. same applies for your laptop. Screen right, right. capture. Okay. Right. Excellent. Here we go. Thank you, Asanain, for that. Let's go on to type 2. That was type 1. Now watch here. Watch what type 2 does. Look what happens. Now you see this in the exam. That's a 2. Okay, let's write it like that. That's a 2. Right, so let's go. Let's change the color of the pen here. Let's go here. Let's go there. Let's draw a similar graph. A similar graph. Let's call that 4. Let's call that 2. Let's call that minus 5. Let's give you a point on the graph, and I call that point T. Okay, in fact, let's give you the y-intercept. How about I give you the y-intercept, and I call that point T. Now, it's, it doesn't necessarily have to be the y-intercept. It can be any point on the graph. So type 2 is 3x intercepts and a point. Let's tell you that is 0, and let's say that is 6. Now, I've purposely chosen different values. Why? So you know when you are studying which value went where. So now in our answer, now they tell you that this is graph G, and they tell you that G of X is equal. Now watch, AX cubed, Dylan. Now A is here in front of X cubed, plus BX squared, plus PX, plus Q. Find the values of A, P, Q, or show that A equals something, B equals something, P equals something, Q e You know how they ask you the question. So in your answer, follow me. Let's do it together, guys. That's X, that's Y. That's X1, that's X2, that's X3. Whenever another point is given on a graph, you're always looking for A. You're always looking for 
A. Just remember, A for always, A for A. You're always looking for A. Right. So let's go. Y equals A into X minus X1, X minus X2, X minus X3. This is your answer. You can answer it exactly the way I'm answering it here. So let's, what's Y? 6 is equal to A into X is 0 plus 5 into 0 minus 2 into 0 minus 4. 6 equals A into 5. Please, guys, don't ask me how I'm doing this. Zero minus two is minus two. If at this juncture you're asking me how I'm doing it, guys, drop out. <laughs> right. Negative times negative is a positive. Five times two is 10 times four is 40. A. A equals six over 40. Two goes into here three times. Two goes into there 20 times. Right. Now, how will we know that we write when our final answer, in our final answer, we must get 6 as our y-intercept. So let's go. y equals 3 over 20 into x. Now you leave out x and y. You got a. x plus 5. x minus 2. x minus 4. Right. Here the fun starts. Let's multiply all this out. Y equals 3 over 20 into X plus 5 into, let's break that up. That's X squared minus 2 minus 4 minus 6X plus 8. Y equals 3 over 20 into, let's multiply all this out. X cubed minus 6X squared plus 8X plus 5X squared minus 30X plus 40. Yes or no? So y equals 3 over 20 into x cubed minus 6x squared plus 5 minus 1x squared. 8 minus 30 minus 22x plus 40. Now we multiply this out. Here's your final answer. g of x is equal to 3 over 20x cubed minus 3 over 20x squared minus 3 times 22 divided by 20. 3 times 22 divided by 20. 33 over 10 minus 33 over 10x. And here's your moment of truth. Here's our moment of truth. We get this last part right. I must get 6. If I don't get 6, I know I'm wrong. Let's go. 3 over 20 multiplied by 40. Six. Do I think I'm right or do I know I'm right? We know we're right. Ta-da! <laughs> so, what would A be? A is 3 over 20. B is minus 3 over 20. C is minus 33 over 10. D or Q or P or Q. That's your Q value. Q is 6. Yeah. Now what? Come and give you guys an exam model, right? That you have to learn. So we did now type two. Okay, wait. Let's do type three quickly. Where the two turning points are given. Huh? B is the coefficient. That's A. Let me circle it for you. That's A. That's B. Minus three over 20. Minus 3 over 20, that's P, that's Q. Right, while you guys are taking that, I know some people are done already. So you can already start taking down type 3, so we don't waste time. So 2x intercepts. Let's now do when the two turning points are given. Let's do when the two turning points are given. So now Portion. I give you a graph. Okay, give me a second. Let me just draw this graph. That, that, that. That is negative 4 and 20. And this here is 2 and minus 6. I tell you that the graph goes through. 
And I just give you these two points. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. The two turning points are given. The two SPs given. The two SPs given. What you want? Kiss. There you go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go back to Mr. How many marks is this? Uh, this one here would be about six marks. Six marks. You won't get more than six marks for any of these where you're determining the equation. Question? Yeah. How many marks? Six marks. Six marks. Six marks. Six marks. Six marks. Cody has a question. All right. So she says, uh, where do you get the marks? Right. Probably you'll get about three. To, uh, you'll get three marks on this side here and you'll get three marks on that side. That's it. But the question is, Cody is asking, how did you get six? Oh, how did I? Oh, how? Oh, not the mark allocation. The six here. Man. Oh, yeah. the three over 20 times 40. Remember, we're multiplying, 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 multiplying. So 3 over 20 times 40 gives me my 6. 3 times 40 is 120. Divided by 20 is 6. Right, Cody? Thank you. Yes, sir. Right, now you took the next one down. Now, when the two turning points are given, and now they're going to give you the equation. Watch here, watch here, watch here, watch here, watch here, watch here, watch here. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, come on, Mr. Eraser. <laughs> All right. So now they tell you f of x is equal to x cubed plus ax squared plus bx plus c. Find a, b, and c for six marks. This is type two. No? What was this? Type three. Good. There is one more type, man, but hey, time, man, time, man, time. I'd love to do it with you. In fact, what the hell? I'm going to do it after this. <laughs> I, I don't want you guys to get to the exam and say, we did the topic, but he didn't do this with us. So, guys, be excited, man. You're learning, you're learning all these different types. I've summarized it. All these are different types for you. Learn this. This is all you need to learn for the exam. You don't need to work on a hundred different problems. You need to learn one of each. That's math. Okay, let's go. Question. Find A, B, and C. Answer. I'm going to give you a template again. You do it exactly the way I do it. First thing you do is you scratch out the Ys. We're not interested in the Ys. The two turning points, we know this is maximum. And that is minimum. No, uh, don't write. Don't write. Step number one. Let's find the derivative because we're working with maximum or minimum. The derivative is always equal to zero. Yes or no? Derivative. So now F dash X. You copy and paste exactly the way I do it here. You do it in your exam. So F dash X is equal to 3X squared. This year, 3X squared. We're finding the derivative of that. Plus 2AX plus B, the C, uh, the B, X is 1, C will fall away, right? In fact, they can even give you the C value. Even if they gave you that, as put this as minus 1. Put that as minus 1. So you know in your answer, C is equal to minus 1. That's your Q value. There's it. All right. We now need to find A and B. So what you do now, you can call this SP1. You can call this SP2. Stationary point 1, stationary point 2. So now we do it like this. We say SP1, we do SP2. Let's do SP1. Watch here. So now we got 3x squared plus 2ax plus b is equal to 0. We got x. 3 into minus 4 squared plus 2a into minus 4 plus b is equal to 0. 4 squared, 16 times 3 is 48 minus 8a plus b equals 0. Um, minus 8a plus b equals minus 48. If you want to, you can say b equals minus 48 plus 8a or 8a minus 48. That's sp1. Done. Where x equal, the x value is minus 4. sp2, where x is equal to 2. So now we're going to go 3x squared plus 2ax plus b equals 0. 3 into 2 squared plus 2a into 2 
plus B equals zero. Four threes are 12 plus four A plus B equals zero. B equals minus 4A minus 12, equation number 2. Now, B is equal to that, and B is also equal to that, so I can equate these two. Minus 4A minus 12 will equal to minus 48 plus 8A. So, minus 4A minus 8A minus 12A minus 48 plus 12 minus 36 a is equal to 36 divided by 12 is 3. And now we need to solve for B. I'm just going to do it here. B is equal to 8A. 8A minus 48. We got A is 3. B is equal to 8 into 3 minus 48. B is equal to 24 minus 48 minus 24. And what was C? You got C. Minus 1. Very good. There we go. All your calculations done. Good. Okay, I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. If they didn't give you C, your C would have fell away here. That means you would have had, your answer would have been X cubed plus AX squared plus 3X squared. Watch here. Now you'd have to carry on, right? You'd have to say plus 3x squared. What is b? Minus 24. So let's go to b. Let's put minus 24. And then you would have been left with c. Unknown. Now you can take any of these three points and put it for x and y and find c. That's worst case scenario. Right. I'm, I actually want to wrap up with this. And before I go on to optimization, however, there, are, there is one more question, one more type, a type four that I came across. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm just trying to picture it in my head. Take this down. Remember, that's why I'm here. I'm here to show you. I want to try and leave no stone unturned in the topic. So they can't beat you with anything. Guys, what do you guys think? You guys ready for next weekend again? Huh? Higher order. Then we only work through heavy pass papers, IEB, Sakai. You game? It's free, yeah. It's free, yeah. Yo, you are charo, eh? Anything for free, brah. <laughs> Yes, says these charos. It's a prejudice uh, joke theme, Mr. Kota. I'm a charo, bruh. I also like no. free things, bruh. You look like a maro, not a charo. No, I'm a charo. I go to a hotel. I see you. I phone every day for new slippers. I phone every day reception. I say, bring me a dental kit. Bring me a, bring me new shampoos. Even if I didn't use yesterday's. Yeah, when I buy home, bruh, I got a bag full of goodies. I paid for it. I'm a charo. Do you take the milk and the sugar as well, Mr. Kauter? I've seen My that friend. before. No, it goes no, without no, saying. Never, no, that I won't do. Saying. I swear I won't take milk, sugar, and soap. That my wife does, not me. Ah. <laughs> I take the slippers and the dental kit. <laughs> oh, my word. Astaghfirullah. No, no, I'm making it myself. I, but I do. I got, I got a small tube of Colgate. Oh. Ah. All right. Let's do type four. Come on. Let's go, guys. Come on. I know you're enjoying it. I know you're loving it. Trust me. You're going to love the next one. <laughs> Some of you are going to hate it. Some of you are going to swear me. Don't swear me, man. I'm a nice guy. I'm a let go. Right. Check this one out, guys. Bismillah. I've seen this one. That point there is minus 5. That point is 20. They call this graph F. They tell you F of X equals AX cubed plus BX squared plus CX plus D. Find A, B, C, D for 7 marks.
Right. Question number one, find A, B, C, D for seven marks. Question number two, for which values of X is the graph increasing? For which values of X is the graph concave up? Where is f of x greater than 0? Where is f dash x greater than or equal to 0? For which values of x? Ha! Ah, so let's give you mark allocations, right? That's 7 marks. Two marks, two marks, two marks, three marks. Total, seven and three, ten, twelve, fourteen. There you go, guys. Sixteen marks. Up for grabs. Up for grabs. So we did equations of tangents, we did derivative, we did differentiation, we did first principles, we did how to sketch a cubic graph, we did all the types of determining equations of cubic graphs. We're going to go on to the last topic after this, which is optimizing. You're going to love it. Oh, it's fun. Oh, it's fun. Aren't you guys having fun? Isn't maths fun? Yo, maths is gefaalik, my bro. As gefaalik as ya. Right, right, let's go. Now watch, we got one x-intercept and a turning point. Let me see how many of you onliners are done. Just say done, don't give me the answer. Just say how many of you got the first one. How many of you got it? Give me a thumbs up, talk to us and then. Who's got it? Who's got it? Who's got number one? We don't want shout outs now. <laughs> we don't want shout outs. This is not shout out time. I'm asking you a question. Who got question number one? You get question number one, you're a boss. The football zone, you're Nureen. Ah, Kwai Yong. Ain't I tired? Oh, hell freaking no. <laughs> no ways. No ways. I'll go on like this till 10. Man, Hassanain, while they're doing this, can I do a little bit of chit chat, Hassanain? May I? What do you want to say, Mr. Kauta? You want to tell them that you're immortal, that you're immortal, that you can run Beachester down the road? What is it? What do you want to say that I haven't heard before? Good. Listen, there was one year, there was one year, the matrix, grade 11s and 12s were writing at the end of the year, grade. They were writing on the Monday and Tuesday, right? I had to do two workshops for two papers. Paper 1, paper 2, grade 11. Paper 1, paper 2, grade 12 in one weekend. So how do we do that, Hassan? Eh? How does that get done? Mm. So we start on a Friday night with paper 1, grade 12 at 8 p.m. We finish off at 4 a.m. On, on a Friday night with about a 200 learners. They go home to sleep on Saturday morning. I go home for breakfast. We come back. I do grade 11, paper one. We start nine in the, uh, eight in the morning. We finish off at four o'clock. They go home for supper. They go home to sleep. I go home for supper. I come back. Grade 12, Saturday night, paper two, 8 p.m. till 4 a.m. They go home for breakfast. I come home for paper two, grade 11. We did two grades, two papers, one weekend. I'm alive. Uh, nothing wrong with me. I'm completely normal. Oh, thanks for clarifying that. Uh, I, I made thought it. maybe you were like on jet fuel or rocket fuel. Uh, Bro, nothing, fuel man. I'm high on math. I told you I'm high on Chris. On, on, I'm, I'm seeing what? math on, crystal clear. On, on, uh, no, on, no, on, 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 on mathematics. I'm high on mathematics. I just injected myself with a dose of calculus. Ah, thank you. That's cool. I have no problem with that. As long as it's not the narco narcotic version of it, then I'm fine. I'm cool. I'm fine with that. Thank we you. We, Moving on, we, Mr. Kouter. We are flying. We are flying. Y equals A into X minus X1 into X minus X2 
into x minus x2 again. Why? Because it bounces on this point. That's x1, that's x2, and we use this point twice because it's bouncing on the graph. So what is y? So here's the point 0 and 20. Let's go, let's go. So 20 is equal to a into 0 plus 5 into 0 minus x2 into 0 minus x2. So 20 equals a into 5 into x2 times x2 is x2 squared. So I had to do this one with you guys. All right? Now wait. Oh, sorry. My bad. My bad. Wait, just make a small change here, guys. It's actually x cubed plus ax squared. Wait, 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 wait. It was x cubed plus ax squared plus bx plus c. So basically find abc. Basically find abc. So the question, so we just take out the a there. Relax, relax, relax. Hold your horses. Calm your farm. <laughs> Calm your farm. Where did that one come from? Calm your farm, bruh. That's an old one, Mr. Kota. No, don't lie. That's... I, I, <laughs> so, right. So, here we go. So, now divide by 5, divide by 5. Cray, 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 cray is equal to 20. Divide by 5 is 4. So, x2 is equal to the square root of 4. x2 is equal to 2. So, that means this 2 is 2. So that becomes 2. Yes or no? Good. Now, obvious, obvious, obvious. A is how much? A, uh, no, no. So it's basically A, B, and C. Oh, a oh lot. Okay, wait, wait, relax, relax, relax. So now we got x2 is equal to 2. We still need to now get the whole equation. So we need to go all the way back, brah. We need to go all the way back, brah. So y equals x plus 5 into x minus 2 into x minus 2 or x minus 2 squared. If you wanted to, you could have just said x minus 2 squared. So y equals x plus 5 into x squared minus 4x plus 4. Oh, lot. Oh, lot. Oh, my lot. Let's just multiply this out again. x cubed minus 4x squared plus 4x plus 5x squared plus 5x squared. That is a 5. It's the way I write my 5. Don't tell me how to write my 5. Minus 20x minus 20x plus 20. Ah, do we think we're right or we know we're right? Ah, we know we are right because that is 20, Baba. 20. X cubed minus 4 plus 5 plus X squared. 4 minus 20 minus 16X plus 20. So A is equal to 1. B is equal to minus 16. C or Q is equal to 20. Whew, eh, eh, we have just got it. It's a story, this thing. She's giving us the drama. Now, remember, increasing or decreasing, you look at the original graph. Concave up or concave down, you look at the point of inflection. Okay. Ain't like, actually. Okay, I'm tired. Not tired. No time for tired. You know, doing maths is like, you know, going out on a Saturday night to a skirt, right? Okay, no, no, I'm lying. No, no. I'm just saying like when you, on a Saturday night when you were brass and, and like you, you're just going out and then, you know, it comes to about one o'clock in the morning and your eyes is zooming and you are just going like this and things are becoming bigger and smaller, bigger and smaller. And after that, you are past the no-fly zone. You will pull through till five o'clock in the morning and you can't sleep. That's math. Okay. 
I know some of you did so much maths today. You've never done so much maths in your life. You are seeing Mr. K's face in the computer coming big and small, big and small. The eyes, she's going like this. Don't worry. Don't worry. The eyes, the, the pupils, they are dilating. What about? They are dilating. The pupils, they are dilating. And tonight they are going to sleep and they are going to dream of Mr. K talking about calculus, derivative. Hey, they are not going to... Yeah, yeah. They're going to hear my voice in the exam. Has a name. They are going to be learning, writing the paper, Mr. K, smacking them, telling them, yeah, check what is given. X intercepts or turning point. Check, check, Baba, check. <laughs> Ooh, eh, eh. Let's go number two. Mr. Kauta, who is Hannah? You always made uh, reference to Anna. Who is Hannah? You, you must yeah. know when the South African people are asking who is Hannah. Hannah is Hannah. She is who Hannah is, Montana sitting right who's, in front. Uh, who's Hannah? Who's Hannah? Uh, Hannah. Hannah. Hannah, would you like to introduce yourself, hey, on uh, to, to our international No, tomorrow. Audience, right? Tomorrow we'll do another Mexican wave. And we'll do uh, some Hannah, interaction with the... Well, they're uh, gonna, uh, they would like to interact with you, hey. Okaf. Okaf, Okaf S.A. Would like to inter would like to do it right, right, right. Increasing. Oh God. Oh my lot. Where is it increasing? Okay, it's increasing from negative infinity up to for which values of x. So the answer to question number two from minus infinity up to zero, or from two. All your x values greater than two. That's where it's increasing that side. Or from two to positive positive infinity. That's where it is increasing. It is decreasing here yeah, between zero and two. <sighs> Let's go. Let's go. We are on fire. Hey, what kind, Lani? Let's do what kind concave. What are you talking concavity? A yeah, point of inflection. No, <laughs> what kind? What kind died? We buried him yesterday. In what kind? Serious. Serious. Concave. Concave. Okay, Stecky. You know how to do concave. <laughs> Stecky. You know this Stecky here. Hey, hey, <laughs> this hey, hey. Right, hey, Stecky. How you do concavity? You do point of inflection second. So what was our original? F of x was equal to x cubed plus x squared minus 16 x plus 20 am i right or am i right i'm right always right never wrong. I'm, lying. I'm lying i'm lying so now f dash x f dash x is equal to 3 x squared plus 2 x minus 16. we want point of con concavity f double f dash x point of acceleration this is called velocity do you know that did you guys know that why those of you do physics ms to the minus one First derivative. Don't we subtract minus one from the power? It's called another word for first derivative is velocity or speed. Write it down. Another word for second derivative if, is ms to the minus two. When do we minus two for acceleration? So point of inflection is known as a point of acceleration. First derivative is known as your speed or velocity. So this is six x plus two equals zero. 6x equal minus 2x equals minus. Hey, guess what? Check this one out, Braz. We are getting the same point of inflection. Minus a third. They want the x for which values of x is it concave up. So concave up will be from minus a third to positive infinity. Remember, here's concave up. If you want to look at your original graph, you want me to show you where's concave up. There's it. It's concave up. There's your point of inflection there. So now it changes over. It becomes concave up there. And it's concave down there. So concave up is from minus a third to positive infinity. Or you can draw f dash x. Even if you draw f dash x, f dash x, what will it look like? Zero and two. Right? So, but is this right? 
3x plus 2. Yeah, this is correct. 3x squared plus 2x minus 16. No, that's correct. You sure it wasn't minus x squared? It was plus x squared. Go back. Just double check the first one. It was plus x squared. Okay, it's fine. I'm just checking. Where is this graph? Above zero means above your x-axis. Where is it above your x-axis? Between minus 5 and 2. The answer to question number 4, I'm going to do it here. I don't have space. I'm doing the answer to question number 4 here on the top. I'm doing it here. Between? Yes, talk to me, Dylan. The answer for question number 4. Where is it? Where is f of x? Where is f of x greater than 0? For, for all and two. That's all. Uh -uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's here. It's above there. And it's going to be above there. Or for x greater than two. Where is f double dash x? No, where is f dash x? Now, look at number Look at number 5. Look at number 5. The answer to question number 5. I'm doing the answer to question number 5 here. Right. Where is f dash x? This is f dash. I'm answering question number five. f dash x greater than or equal to zero. Oh, Lord, we are now going to factorize this. Our two, what are our two critical values here? Give me your fx. Uh, where, who got the silver calculator there? Let's factorize silver. Silver. Oh, why don't you have it? To factorize. This one factorizes. That one doesn't. So let's go. Mode. Equation, 3x squared. I don't know whether this is perfect. I'm going to check it out now. So 3 equals, 2 equals, minus 16 equals, equals. Hey, I get 2 and minus 8 over 3. I get minus 8 over 3 and I get 2. These are my CVs, my critical values because it's an inequality. Boom, bang. What do we have? Isn't this pause or neck bet? So we do that. We do minus 8 over 3. And we do 2. And, and, and greater than 0 is what? Positive. What's the rule? Oh, hey, you clever. You paid attention this morning. Well done. Oh, there's it. Inequalities being asked here again. And there we go. Right. Last one, last one. And I just feel I have to do this with you, right? But it's not now finding the equation now. Now, uh, we're coming to the end. We're coming to the higher order questions before I get to optimization, right? Before I get to optimization. Let's go. Take this exam question down. They tell you. They give you that. They give you this. They say this is f dash x. Isn't f dash x a parabola? The original is a cube. f dash x is a parabola. Now they sketch the parabola. So they tell you sketched is the derivative. G? No, no, no. No, 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 no. This is just higher order. So just put a star next to it. Sketch is the derivative of f. Right. They tell you that is minus 1. They tell you that is 5. They call that point t. And t is the turning point of f dash x. x, y. Good. Let's ask you 15 marks on this. This will wrap up this, right? So let's go. Question number one. Question number one. Um, fi find the x 
values of the turning points of F. Number two. For which values of X, for which value or values of X is F of X increasing? For which values of X is F of F, F of X concave down? Find the derivative. Find the x values, two marks. f of x, two marks. Concave down, three marks. Find the derivative, three marks. Total, two and two, four and three, seven and three. Okay, here's 13 marks for you. This came out of a past paper. Guys, want to try it on your own? You want two minutes to try it on your own? How are we doing there, Sanayn? How's our peoples? How's our peeps? How's our well, Owens? The peeps, the peeps have, they're doing quite well, right? They're doing quite well. They're pushing on, you know, they're really inspired by your, your energy and your outlook. Right. So yeah, and and we'd like to thank lots of the schools. Lots of um, the schools are linked up to the session, so they have oh, wow. sent us photos of the sessions. You know. Wow. Uh, oh yes, that session. is why. Okay, this makes sense because if we had ten thousand six hundred registration or nine hundred registration, the schools are linking in as a single login with a hundred learners behind them. 100% and lots ah, of these learners that's making are sense. They, they are going to be involved in this competition where wow. at the end of the year they're going to submit their final maths uh, results. So we're oh, going to yes. do a comparison well, uh, from July's results yeah. to the final right. and just to gauge how good uh, Mr. K was. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to mm. set aside 500 rand tomorrow. Okay. And I'm going to give five questions and the yes. first person to get it right over the five each question will be worth just 100 bucks so rather we'll give it to them as cash as a name if they get it right as a name just transfer the money into the account i'll sort you out what if year. i get it right <laughs> then i want the cash then i'll give you my bank account then and you then give me your bank details and i do the eft done deal yeah. deal yes, so tomorrow yes. cash prizes from my side right moving deal. on mr Kulcher. game on Game on. Uh, right, now listen. Yours. The X values of the turning points of F. Now remember, the two X intercepts of the derivative are the two X values of the turning points of F. So that means, so let's write that out. The two X value, uh, the two X intercepts. So let's write the two X intercepts. The two X intercepts of the derivative. Ah, the two x values of your turning points of original. So what's your answer for question number one? x is equal to minus one. Y is equal ah uh, 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 the first the, that's your first one or x is equal to five. Those are your two x values of your turning point of your original. That means your original was a cubic graph. X was equal to minus 1. And then X was equal to 5. That means that point there was minus 1. That point there was 5. Question number 2. For which values is F increasing? So this year, F, the original, increasing from minus infinity up to minus 1. Sorry about that. Up to minus 1. Or it's increasing there from 5 to positive infinity. Answer to question number 3. 
Where is it concave down? That means we need the point of inflection, am I right? So, how do we get that? Do you know what the uh, point of inflection is? The turning point of your derivative. Ah, it's the derivative of the derivative. So, the turning point of your derivative is your point of inflection. So, watch here. Watch here. We know from minus 1 to 0 is how many units? 1. Plus 5 is how much? 6. And the halfway mark, 6 divided by 2 is how much? 3. So that means 3 units from each way. 3, three units that way or 3 units that way. So 5 minus, that would be plus 3, 5, minus 1 plus 3 or 5 minus 3. What's this? 2. That means your x value here is 2. So for concave down, that's concave down from negative infinity up to 2. We just worked out the distance and the midpoint between the two x-intercepts. And that was the x value of our point of... They only want the, x, the, the value of x. They're not worried about y. It's concave down from negative infinity to 2. Where is it concave up from 2 to positive infinity? That's up. That's down. Comment. Comment. Suggestion. Okay. Suggestion. Please. Oh. Please. Okay, let's see. All right, okay. Let's take that take out. Time. Let's take that out. X is equal to minus 1 or X is equal to 5. There we go. Negative infinity to minus 1. 5 positive infinity. Minus infinity to 2. Up, down. 2X int. Intercepts of derivative are the two x turning points of original. Agreed. We good. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Right. Let's go on to right. Put the heading optimization. This is the last part, and we're going to do the three parts. Oh. Oh, find the derivative. Okay. okay. Let's do question number four. Let's do question number four. Now, isn't this a parabola? So we're going to say f dash x is equal to, that's your derivative, x minus x1 into x minus x2. Agreed? So that would be x plus 1 into x minus 5. Now, all we do, we multiply that out. So, here's your answer. Here's your derivative. F dash x. x squared plus 1 minus 5 minus 4x minus 5. There we go. That's your derivative. That's F dash x. And that's your final answer. That was the derivative of your original. Yeah, I know. No, the, yeah, so, well, they tried just to be funny. The equation of this parabola is the derivative. Right. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, last, last for today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just assume your A here is what? It's fine. Yeah, okay, you need to leave. Yeah, okay, no problem. If you have to go, you have to go. All right, let's go. I'll see you tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Right, let's go, guys. Last component. We're now doing optimization. Let's do optimization. Put the heading optimization. See you. Right. Now, I told you, this is calculus application in real life. So, you're going to have shapes, graphs, speed, velocity, and time. And, yeah, speed, velocity, acceleration. Right. So, let's put the last one for today. I don't think we're going to be able to cover anything more than this for today. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Optimization is broken up into three parts. Volume. Okay. Just now I'm going to get a comment. My handwriting. Volume, 
total surface area. Then you've got your graphs. And then you've got your, uh, what did I say? Velocity acceleration, right? Right. Now, I did tell you, you, you must know your volume formulas. Come on. Now, guys, you're in grade 12. Yes. That's this one now. Now, the total surface area for any standard shape, total surface area, but it must be closed on top and the bottom. Closed, top, and bottom. Let's give you an example. Take the scan. Right, I'll hide the name. It's a red, it's a red drink. Right. <laughs> Take the scan. It's closed on the top and it's closed at the bottom. So we say two times area of base plus perimeter of the base, the perimeter or the circumference, the perimeter, perimeter of base times your height. Your height is your height. So Let's, let's compress this formula. Let's make it easier. 2AB plus PBH. If you can remember this, you can apply it for all shapes. You can apply it for a cylinder, close top and bottom. Right? You can have a rectangular box. Oh, oh, I can't use the, uh, this box. Yeah, I need a rectangular box. Anybody got a rectangular box here? Yeah? Where it's closed on the... Yeah, bring yeah, me that. You almost yeah, got caught out. You almost got I caught almost out. Got caught out there, bro. I almost hey. got there's a rectangular box. <laughs> right. You naughty wena. Astaghfirullah. Right. It's closed. It's closed on the top and it's closed at the bottom. So two times area of base plus perimeter of base times height. And even if it was like a Toblerone chocolate. Oh, hey, a samosa. And then it went, say it had depth like this. So it was a tobler own box. So now you'll say two times area of base. Area of base would change, would be half base times perpendicular height. You see how the samosas come into play? Plus perimeter of your base, side plus side plus side times your big height. So there we go, guys. You can manipulate. But now what happens if the top was open? What happens? No, man, why you took it back? Bring it back here now. There we go. There we go. Right. There we go. Now, let's see. I'm just smelling what lunch your mother gave you. Was it? Okay, no, it smells all right. No, it's good. It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> right. So here we go. We got now a box that's open on the top. So can I say two times area of base? How many bases are there? One. So now we just adjust it. So if it's only one base, then you'll just say one eight. No, no, don't write it. You'll just change it. If it's open top or bottom, open top. One times area of base plus perimeter of base times height. And what if it was a toilet roll holder? Okay, we don't have a toilet roll holder here, but it's open on both sides. Will you ever say area of base? No, it's got no bases. We'll just say Perimeter of base. So if it's open on the top and bottom, open top and bottom. Total surface area is just perimeter of base times your height. So like a toilet roll holder, right? Can we draw it? Let's see. Yes, that. And it goes like that. It goes like that. It goes like that. There we go. And it's, let's just say, it's open on the top and open at the bottom. So you just manipulate this one formula for all your standard shapes. Let's do an example of that. Now we start with the examples. We're going to do two examples here. I'll do two examples, two examples, one example. And we're done. And game over for today. But tomorrow, guys, I'm begging you, have a good night's sleep tonight. Because tomorrow it's game on. Oh, God. Oh, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. We are here till 4 p.m. tomorrow. 
I'm going to have to do first thing tomorrow morning. I'm doing functions while you are brand new. And there I'm not doing basics. I'm not teaching you how to do it. We're going directly into application because it's exam time. No, nine. No, no, no. Maybe four, maybe six, but yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, come on, guys. Yeah, I know you. We vibing, yeah, bruh. <laughs> come on, guys. Push your limits. Push your limit. What the guys say? Has a name? Tomorrow, four, four thirty, four. They all right. Right, let's start. Let's start with the shape, right? Let's do this. Um, let's do that. Okay, so I give you a cylinder. I tell you that this is X, and I tell you this is 300 minus X. Hmm. Right, question number one. Show that the volume, show that the volume of the cylinder is given by 942x squared minus 3,14x cubed. Number two, the questions will always appear in this order. Not the same question, but... The same order. So you'll find volume area, total surface area. Then you'll find X giving minimum or maximum. Volume. Find the maximum volume. And find the total surface area. If it's a drinking glass. A tumbler. <laughs> it's a tub. <laughs> she almost put it out of coke here. <laughs> a tumbler. You know a tumbler. The bottom is a tumbler. It's a whiskey glass, right? For a shot. Right. Three marks, four marks, three marks, four marks, three and four, seven and three, ten, fourteen, fourteen marks. Let's do it together, Ubuntu, together, together, forever. <laughs> She's going mad like me, huh? she's losing it. This one here in my class, she is gone. Yeah, you tired, then you are just talking anything that is going through the brains. And you know what? At that point, your mind is at its sharpest. And guess what? That's the time you must do math. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you are just talking nonsense, you will figure everything out. Because maths is organized chaos. It's so true. M-A-T-H. You know, mental abuse to humans. Mr. K, how much time have we got uh, of our allocation? No, we are just on to uh, on our allocated time. We are at the end. We are just going to push yes. 15 minutes. Can we? 15 minutes. Yes, we can. We can. 15 we can. minutes. Yes, 15 but we minutes are on the last of Can we pull, to, to, can we pull till three? I, please, I don't think it will be a good idea. We have some. I don't know. Ask our peeps. Ask yeah. our peeps. Some of them are very fatigued. And uh, yeah, let's hear from them. I just want to finish this, the optimization. Yes. Then we're done. Three o'clock. Then yeah. we all go home. Then we have a yeah. party. Then we go and bry. Okay. So with our participants, wait, Mr. Kota. Participants, kindly let us know if you would like to push on for another 15 minutes or you can make it until three o'clock. Come on, Look, guys, some come of on. our participants are exhausted. You have to be realistic. And some yeah, of yeah. them do have capacity. So Suleiman says no. 
15 minutes. Look, lots of the guys are saying they are tired. You understand? They're tired. So, okay. Yes, so let's go. They are tired. So let's go. 15, 15 minutes. minutes. 15 minutes, yes. Okay. 15 minutes. All right. Let's go. So now, I'm, so I'm not going to wait for you to do it. That means I'm going to, in 15 minutes, I'm going to have to dala what I must. Dala okay, what I must. It. Right. So volume. We know volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r squared times height. We know pi is 3,14 because they got a 3,14 in the problem. My r is x. That's my radius. x squared. My height is 300 minus x, right? So that will give me 3,14x squared into 300 minus x. Now we just multiply it out and boom, we have our answer. So volume is equal to 300 times 3,14 is 942x squared minus 3,14x squared times x, x cubed, units cubed. Done. First three marks. Plug and play. We just substitute it into the formula. Right. Let's do question number two. I'm going to do question number two here on the top. The minute they say minimum or maximum, you know, derivative is always equal to zero. So therefore, what is dv over dx, the derivative here? Power rule, two times 942 is 1884x minus... 3 times 3,14 is 9,42. 9,42. It's x cubed, so it will become x squared is equal to 0. Right? Power rule. I'm applying the power rule. After this, I'm applying the power rule. So now, what is your highest common factor? We're solving for x. And let's take out 9,42x into... Now, we're taking out this from here. So, we left with 200 minus x equals 0. So, I got two factors equal to 0. 9,42x equals 0 or 200 minus x equal to 0. x is equal to 0 or minus x will equal to minus 200. x is equal to 200. So, therefore, 200 is x giving ma maximum volume. You've got to substitute both into the original, whichever gives you the higher positive volume, because you can't have a negative volume of a shape. Are you all with me? So whenever they use the word minimum or maximum, derivative equal to zero. So we found the derivative of this. We equated it to zero and we solve for x. Now, find the maximum volume. So obviously, what must we do? Substitute back into the original. Do you know why? Must I tell you what happens here? This volume here, check here. This volume, this volume is a negative graph. Watch here. That's what that graph looks like. Because x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 200. That's your volume graph. Volume is cubed. So now... To answer question number three, volume equals, we found the volume, which is x giving maximum volume, 200. But now we put it into 942x squared. So it's 942 into 200 squared minus 3,14 into 200 cubed. What's your final answer? I think it's 12560000. One. Two, five, six, zero, 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 zero units cubed. Boom. That's a volume. Uh huh. For one small, that could be a massive cylinder. That could be a silo. That could be ESCOM's power station that's got nothing in it. Find a total surface area. Come on. If it's a drinking glass, do it on your own. We got X giving maximum. 
Ah, so we got X. X is 200 already. We got X giving maximum area or volume, right? No, don't. Don't, mustn't we first find a total surface area in terms of X, then find X. Whoa, guys, this last one could be six to eight marks. There's lots of work to be done with the last one. Because we've got to do the whole process again. Find total surface area. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's just say if X equal 200, let's make it easier. Yeah, I'm giving it to you. Come on. If 200 is X, using the maximum x from the previous one right just for time's sake because we don't have time we are fighting we are racing here right what's your total surface area of a drinking glass total surface area is one times area of base plus perimeter of base times height what's your perimeter of what's your area of base pi r squared plus perimeter of base is 2 pi r times your height. So pi r squared is 3,14. r squared is, r is x, which is 200 squared, plus 2 times pi is 3,14, times your radius is 200, times your height is 300 minus 200. So your height is equal to 100. Yes or no? Good. There we go. Plug this into your calculator. Let's go. 3,14 into 200 squared plus 2 into 3,14 into 200 into 100. Boom. What answer do we get? 251, 200. Units, square, y, area, area square, yes or no? Good, good. We are understanding, sharp. How many of you got that one right? Scream, others. <laughs> How many of you got it right? How's it going there, Asana? We're just trying to finish off the remainder of this, so let us focus okay. on the lesson. Yeah, we got 10 minutes. Are we pushing till quarter Yeah, three? let's focus on that. Yep, 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 yep. Right. Have you all got it down? Can I raise it? I want to show you the second one in terms of the graph. Learn this one. This one is so important. We're at the end now, guys. Come on. We're at the end. If you can just pay attention, just pull through. I know it's, I know it's tough. No, it's not. <laughs> right, let's go. Attitude determines your altitude. Right, let's go. Watch this. Watch this. I came across this one in a past paper too. <clears throat> Learn. Watch here. So they give you a parable. And they give you a rectangle there. So they can say a farmer has a plot the size like a U in a U shape. And he needs to fence off his grain, his growing wheat in a rectangle. So find the maximum, right? Now they tell you that this is given by F. And they tell you that F of X is equal to minus 3X squared plus 18. They tell you that piece is equal to that piece. That is 0. That is X. This is point A, B, C, D. One question for 10 marks. One question. Find the maximum area of the shaded part for 10 marks. Now, remember, we have to do it in... Remember what I told you in the previous one? We've got to do it in the same three processes that we did the first one, correct? We've got to find the area of the shaded part in terms of X. Then we've got to find X giving maximum area using derivative. Then we've got to find the maximum area. So to save us for, with time, we know the area of a rectangle. 
the area of a rectangle is length times breadth. So if that is x from there to there, that's x. Then what is this? x. That means the breadth here is how much? 2x. Now if that is x, this x value is x and its y value is f of x. Yes or no? So this is x. And what's the y value? They gave it to us. The equation. Minus 3x squared plus 18. So that means my length here, or my breadth is, yeah, my length is 2x. And my breadth, that y value there, is minus 3x squared plus 18. So let's go. Let's have fun. Area is equal to length times breadth. That's where we begin. Your length is 2x. X plus X is 2X. Your breadth is minus 3X squared plus 18. Now we multiply that out. So your area is minus 6X cubed plus 36X. Now we need X giving maximum area. So we use a derivative power rule. Therefore, DA over DX, that's a A. Power rule. Power rule. 3 times minus 6 minus 18. X, 3 minus 1 is 2. Plus 1 times 36 is 36. For minimum or maximum, derivative must equal to 0. Minus 18x squared is equal to minus 36. Divide by minus 18. X squared is equal to, divide by minus 18. X squared is equal to 2. X is equal to the square root of 2. Now we're not yet done. We want the maximum area. Take that square root 2. Plug it back into there. Here's our final answer. Area equals minus 6 into square root 2 cubed. Plus 36 into square root 2. Work that out. What does that give us? Minus 6 into root 2 squared. Plus 36 into square root 2. Close brackets. 38,91. 38,91 units. Maybe it could have been kilometers. So it's 38. That means this area of the place where this farmer is going to farm is 38,91 kilometers or units square. Or square kilometers. And there we go. There we go. One question for 10 marks. We got three minutes left. So this is in terms of a graph. Just remember, if they don't give you x, you can call a point on a graph x, and its y value is f of x. The function value at that point is f of x. Right, Wandile? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's finish off with one last one. Come on, last, last, last one. Take the picture here. Last, guys. I know you're tired. But I have to do the last one with you. Because the last one deals with the matriculant who fails and he decides he wants to commit suicide in Santon City. No, no, because that's exactly what, what people do these days. People are committing suicide. They want to uh, kill themselves here at Diamond Walk. You know, the, the new trend now. We want to die on a Louis Vuitton handbag. Why? Oh, shucks. Okay, yeah, all right. Okay. So at least you're paying attention to the power three. 33,94. By a donkey? I made that mistake on purpose. Checking if you were awake, awake bra. 33,94 units square. <laughs> Yeah. No, it's... <laughs> I told you we're from the dinosaur age, bro. What do you expect? I'm not a Gen Z. <laughs> I learned a new thing today, ma'am. Gen Z. <laughs> Sound like a bente. Right. Can I clear you? Are we all good? Last one, guys. Take a breath. 
relax. It's the last one for today. It's the last one for today. You're all done. I'm clearing the frame. All right. So let's say that this, this matriculant didn't decide to go to Sand and City. He decided to go to uh, maybe Table Mountain. Even worse, brah. Even worse. So here's this matriculant. They didn't know how to factorize. So they decided it's best I take my life. All right. Table Mountain. Let's say Table Mountain is 240 meters high. Right. They say the displacement, that means the distance from here to the ground. Now, these are all rocks here at the bottom, right? So now he's going to jump, right? And don't ask me, guys, listen to me. If you are matriculant, if you are about to commit suicide and I'm standing behind you, uh, Mr. K, will you save me? No, I'll be the first one to boot you. Okay, I'll be the first one to kick you off. All right, because you can't factorize. Uh, uh, you, you should just leave. Right, 5t squared minus 10t plus 2. Are you serious, Mr. K? I, I think you I must swear. undo that, that comment. That is an <laughs> inaccurate no. comment over there. It's Why? insensitive, so please. Uh, no, 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 they can't I think, uh, uh, no, 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 they must leave, man. No, 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 no. No, they know, no, no. Relax, relax, relax. Okay, relax. Just let's pull go. back that okay, comment. Okay, pull back. Otherwise, withdrawn. Like, Statement yes. withdrawn. Here we go. Thank you. <laughs> Statement withdrawn. Huh? No, I won't save you. No, I won't save you. You know. <laughs> Statement withdrawn. Right, let's go. So now, this is the displacement. This is the displacement. So now, question number one, um, find the speed of the falling body. We don't want to call you by your name, we call you the falling body. The falling body after two seconds, where T is your time, right? After two seconds. After how many seconds will the body be 100 meters above the ground? Or 50? No, no, no. After, yeah, after how many seconds will the body be 20 meters from the ground? Question number three. Find the acceleration of the body after two seconds. Let me repeat these questions for you. Find the speed of the falling body after two seconds. So now the body falls after two seconds. Pip, pip. Right. At what? What's his speed? How fast is he going? Yeah, very fast. After how many seconds will he be, the body be 20 meters from the ground? Why would we want to know that? Because it's at this point that the person starts reading Kalimas. Right. And then find the acceleration after two seconds. We want to know at what speed is he accelerating towards the ground. So let's go. So guys, don't try the set home. Question number one. The minute they use the word speed or velocity, first derivative. So we say S dash T is equal to 10t minus 10. Yof, assalamu alaikum. I see you tomorrow morning. Right, after two seconds. So S dash 2 equals 10 into 2 minus 10. So 20 minus 10. 10 meters per second. First derivative, ms to the minus 1. Velocity speed, minus 1. Number two, after how many seconds will he be 20 meters from the ground? So 20 meters from the ground, 20 meters from the ground, it means from where he fell. Remember, this is from where he fell. So from where he fell, 240 minus 20 is how much? 220 meters. So now you take your displacement, 5t squared minus 10t plus 2 is equal to 220. Displacement equals displacement. 
Yes or no? Oh, it was it minus two. Okay, minus two. Thank you. No, 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 no. Uh, where's my red pen? There's it, minus two, right? 5t squared minus 10 to minus 2 is equal to 220. No, after I'm doing the second question. After how many seconds will he be 20 meters from the ground? So now we're just going to do 5t squared minus 10t minus 2 minus 220 is equal to 0. 5t squared minus 10t minus 222 is equal to 0. So t equals or t equals. Let's see. Factorizing calculator. Let me have it. We almost at the end, guys. We one question away from the end. Mode equation three, five equals minus ten equals minus two 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 equals equals seven comma seven three seven comma seven three seconds or minus five comma seven three. Can time ever be negative? Nope. So time is 7,73 seconds. Yo, it will take you about 8 seconds. 8 seconds to hit the ground. Falling from 240 meters. Yo, that's high. <laughs> that's high. No turning, back. no turning back. No turning back. Find the acceleration. So now we're done with that. We're on to the last question, guys. You can take your nice sigh of relief. We are at the end. We are at the end. Number three. Acceleration, second derivative. So now, what was your first derivative? So S dash T was equal to 10T minus 10. So S double dash T will equal to 1 times 10 is 10 meters per second after two seconds makes no difference constant acceleration so you don't put in the two at all whether it's two whether it's five whether it's ten makes no difference that body that projectile will keep on accelerating at 10 meters per second and that's super fast guys so like i said don't try this at home guys Learn to factorize, right? <laughs> Pass maths. Okay. And that is the day for today. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed tomorrow's session. And please, like I said, we'll start at 9 a.m. on the dot. We got a lot of work to do. And we'll finish off, inshallah, at 4 p.m. tomorrow. That's our day tomorrow. Hassanayn, Jazakallah so much. And I hope everything went okay. Uh, everybody must be lekker tired, all excited to get home and just take a quick snooze. 100%. So let's close off the program there. Uh, just give me a moment. So we'd like to thank one and all for attending, all of the attendees, um, the participants. Thank you for uh, participating. Thank you for linking on. Thank you for all of the educators across South Africa. I've received lots of photos and feedback from the uh, from the um, schools that have um, logged on for the session. Keep your photos uh, and your feedback coming via the WhatsApp number and the email address that I have shown. Uh, we will be flighting that tomorrow. Our sincere apologies um, uh, if there has been any delays on our side. We do endeavor to try and uh, be mindful of time. Uh, but there is some times that we are posed with some uh, challenges and we'll try and make up that time tomorrow. And tomorrow what we will do is I think we'll flight some of our videos before 9 o'clock. So we'll start promptly with the lesson at 9 o'clock so we can make up some time. would like to thank Mr. Kota from Kway for, for um, doing the paper, Matt's Paper 1 today, Saturday 27th of August. Kindly do bear in mind, we've been inundated with requests for the recordings. You must bear in mind that this session is being beamed to YouTube and Facebook. So if you go on to OCAF's YouTube and Facebook, if you go on to OCAF, uh, sa.org.za, you'll have a click through to our YouTube. You can go to our YouTube or Facebook and the video is there. You don't have to request us uh, singly for the, the video. We'd like to thank all the OCAF staff for setting up uh, 
our Joburg office for Mr. Kota to beam out there. Uh, they've been quite involved. Thank you for our uh, thank you to our CEO Zainul Abidin Kaji as well as uh, Mr. Leonard, the representative from the Department of Education. Thank you to our in-studio learners. Uh, you've been great um, participating. We really loved your Mexican wave today. We really love to thank Hilal TV. Uh, they also took a feed today. So that was um, this Matt's workshop was on Hilal TV. So tomorrow, bright and early, uh, starting promptly at 9 o'clock with Mr. Kota, we'll try and put some more energy and time and focus into the lessons. Um, and we really hope that you derive some benefit uh, from the session. So that's it from me. Um, good afternoon. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We'll see you bright and early. And remember to visit okafsa.org.za. Um, if you are having any problems, we'll post, we'll embed the, the video of Matt's Paper 2 on there. I thank you so much. When we take care of each other, wonderful things happen. Children thrive, the elderly rejoice, communities celebrate. Awqaf South Africa, a charitable waqaf receiving organization makes it easy to share the care. All donations are plowed into Sharia compliant investments, while the fruits support a great variety of charitable causes. Visit the Awqaf South Africa website at awqafsa.org.za to discover how your wakaf can bless our community with the legacy of care. Awqaf South Africa, share the care.